Wonderful. Hello, and welcome to the, um, I guess this is the Strangers in a Tangled Wilderness podcast, um, or maybe it's appearing on some other podcast feed. Who knows? Um, today we have something super fun. Um, we have an actual play session of a game that we have been writing for a very long time called Penumbra City. Uh, Penumbra City is a TTRPG um, being developed by members of Strangers in a Tangled Wilderness. And we are going to play it for you right now um, to give you a little teaser for it um, because we are launching a Kickstarter on June 1st. Of um, what year? Of 2023. So if it is not 2023, you either missed th the Kickstarter or you have a really long ways to go before the Kickstarter starts. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what experience of time you currently have. Um, to start off, um, I'm going to, I'm actually gonna ask, I'm gonna ask folks to introduce themselves, um, but I'm going to ask one person to introduce herself first, and I'm gonna ask her to give a brief little three sentence, what is this game? Um, and so I'm gonna pass it off to Margaret. Would you like to introduce yourself with your name, pronouns? Tell us a little bit about your character, you know, their name and pronouns and um, a little bit about Penumbra City, if you had to pitch it to thousands of people to Which I apparently do. Uh, I'm gonna go in the opposite order. I'm gonna start by pitching the game. Beautiful. Number City is a tabletop role playing game, as Edmund said, being um, produced by three of us who are on three of the five of us who are currently here. And it is about, oh God, I should have had the thing in front of me. Well, if you want squatters who have to get rid of the vampires before they move into the building and you want occult occultists who light their circle bombs with their cigarettes before throwing them nonchalantly at uh, agents of the state, if you want people sacrificing angels in order to heal people if you want but those are the bad guys um and if you want weimar republic vibes with demons uh in a fantasy world if you want something that has swords and crossbows and guns and radio if you want stuff like that this is a good game for you and today oh i'm margaret kiljoy I am. I write a bunch of stuff and I talk a lot on a microphone for a living. I guess okay. So uh, cool people did cool stuff and live like the world is dying are my two main podcasts at the moment. Um, and today I am playing Grimora Rapunzella the Fourth. I am a patchworker, which is to say that I'm just a good, friendly neighborhood doctor. And if anyone gets hurt, I can heal them by flaying the dead or the living, I guess, if it is necessary, taking pieces of their skin, applying a sort of fungal concoction and uh, patching it on to the injured party. Pretty much a savior doing doing the work that needs doing. That's Grimora. I'm going to pass it to Robin. Oh, no. Wait, do I have to just say myself and my character, or do I have to justify my entire existence and my relationship with this game also? Maybe it's... just the relationship to the game. And then your character okay. and yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and justifying your existence on this planet. That part's not true. Well, okay. My name is Robin, and I'm trying very hard. <laughs> and I'm doing my best. <laughs> and... Um, I'm the artist for Penumbra City, and my character today is Perfidia. She is an occultist. She has a last name, but no one knows it and no one cares. And she makes a living cursing people and reading fortunes. And her fortunes are generally pretty bleak, so she doesn't make a lot of money at it. Who are you going to pass it to? Um, uh, 
Let's pass to our dog girl. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, I'm B. I am jokingly calling myself the, the voice of Penumbra City um, because I've done a number of the short stories on the podcast for Strangers of a Tangled Wilderness. Um, and today I am playing Tornavis, the dog girl. Um, I love parties in tunnels and riding my motorcycle really, really fast on really, really narrow roads. And, um, I would never abandon my friends in a moment of fear and weakness. That never happened. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have a really squeaky chair. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think Jamie that and then Jamie's Jamie. left yeah okay uh, my name is Jamie Loftus I'm uh, today playing a rat king uh, with they them pronouns named Roger uh, one thing about Roger also likes parties and tunnels but he's not necessarily uh, invited to them they're more of uh, someone who takes things very personally uh, perceived slight is de devastating for Roger and they will spend entire conversations pretending that they're not thinking about something very small that happened years ago but um, that is what they're thinking about all the time uh, fortunately they're surrounded by a swarm of rats at all times um, who are not don't suffer in the same way they're they're pretty they're pretty chill they go with the flow Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and I guess I'll introduce myself, which I forgot to do at the beginning of the podcast. Um, but I'm in Minerwin. I use they, them pronouns. And um, I'm one of the game designers for Penumbra City. So if the game is not fun and you think the mechanics don't make sense, then you can scorn me. Or go to um, hell. <laughs> or go to hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, and I will be the game master today. Um, so Penumbra City, um, just to give the audience a little bit of context to how this game differs to um, other TTRPGs like Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so Penumbra City um, is like most TTRPGs, there is a game master and there's players and the game master is doing their best to kill the players. I mean, to facilitate an adventure where everyone has fun and learns thing about things about themselves. Like what happens after you die? <laughs> like what happens <laughs> after you die? Um, and then you show up as your absolutely um, identical but legally distinct cousin from another town. Oh yeah, <laughs> and they happen to know. Yeah, Grimora Rapunzella, um, the, the fifth. <laughs> it's yeah, basically like you know Twin Peaks. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um. And so just some just some fun key differences uh, from other TTRPGs. Um, so money doesn't really exist in Penumbra City, but we have a really fun mechanic called reputation. And um, every, every class, every character is um, part of a faction, which is part of a larger coalition. We have the revolutionists, the bulwark, and the reasonable. And the revolutionists, as you might be able to tell, are trying to have some revolution and uh, free the city from the uh, the bulwark, who is composed of the military, the church, and the police, and is ruled by a mysterious god king that lives in a floating city above Penumbra City. And then there's the reasonable, who are like, I guess like biz like business leaders or like other people who just like haven't picked a side or like kind of hoping that like um uh everything just works out for the best, you know? Yeah, yeah. They're just hoping everything works out for the best and for them. Um and so uh each 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 faction has different amounts of reputation with other factions. Um, 
within different coalitions. Um, and so the way that you get, uh, you know, food or services or like barter or things like that is by building reputation with different groups. Um, we have a simplified class-based game. Um, there are classes and um, they're honestly not super customizable from a mechanics perspective. They all just, there's no spell books. They all just kind of do what they do and the player is left to bring all the personality. Um, Penumbra City is dangerous. Healing is quite hard to come by and uh, PCs are a little bit squishy. Um, players role, not the GM. So um, in any kind of situation where the player is trying to succeed at uh, say attacking someone or defending against something, they will roll a d20 and we are using a roll under system. So uh, players all have diff uh, four different ability scores for their characters. They have strength, speed, will, and knowledge. And um, those ability scores govern their ability to use certain we weapons, use certain abilities, or perform various uh, checks to see if they can accomplish uh, feats like climbing a building or persuading someone to not arrest them. Um, and so the player would roll a d20 and they are trying to roll underneath their ability score. So for example, if someone is trying to persuade the cops that they are not the people that they're looking for, they might be asked to make a will check. And if their will is 11 and they roll on a d20 a 15 unfortunately the cops are unconvinced however if they roll under an 11 then you know probably probably they might get away from it what if they roll an 11 they roll an 11 then that counts as a pass yeah so and i'm being a pedant i'm sorry it's equal to or under <laughs> Yes. Sorry. Yes. No, thank you. Thank you, Margaret. That's my um, real class. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Copy a header. That's what I'll call it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, please continue. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You've, you've spared, you've, you've spared everyone from hearing my, you escaped the situation without violence joke. Which I now broke a joke. I ruined flat. a joke. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have, now, to, hear we have to hear it, <laughs> even though it's going to fall flat. So if they, if somebody rolls uh, under 11 on their will check, then they have been able to escape the cops without violence. There's, there's my not, my not good joke. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for letting us put you on the spot. <laughs> um, so that's 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 really the basics of the game. You can go out of action if you get if you lose all of your hit points, you go out of action and you don't you don't outright die. And um, unlike some other games, you don't make like death saves or anything. However, if you take damage after you are out of action, then the damage goes over randomly onto one of your ability scores. And whenever one of your ability scores reaches zero, then your character dies. And the only way to heal ability score damage is through the uh, strange and mystical art of patchworking. <laughs> um, players can uh, often roll... Uh, checks or attacks or defenses with advantage or disadvantage dice and this is when the player will be able to roll with 2d20s so they take the the lower option or the better option um, from their rolls um, players can also say if they have advantage on an attack roll for whatever reason and they are feeling pretty good about the attack roll happening or they just want to wager they can uh, turn one of their advantage dies into an extra damage die instead of being an extra uh, attack roll check die. Um, 
Does that make sense to you players? It does to me because I helped write it. I think it's safe to assume I will need assistance basically every step of the way. Wonder. Yeah, I'm only going to get this with multiple times of asking first. Wonderful. Okay. Cool. Well, that's, you know, that's just, that's how it's going to be. This game is a very new game. Even those of us who have designed it have not incredible amounts of experience playing it. Um, but when we have played it, it's been very fun and we're still, we're still working on it. So some things are going to be a little rough, but this is the best picture of the game we've had in a very long time. And we are very excited about it and, and refining it. Um, so without further ado, we are going to start the adventure. Um, and I like to start games with uh, creating a little bit of backstory for the characters to have some amount of rapport with each other um, in game um, instead of just being random strangers that meet at a bar. Um, instead, you may have been semi-random strangers who got work um, helping a family from Soar immigrate to Penumbra City. And let's say this job was set up by um, by Tal from the, uh, the lovable Areni Federation, um, which is a federation of anarchists. And so you met this family um, out in the countryside. There was another group from Soar that brought them halfway and Sora is another country. Oh yes, thank you. Soar Soar is another country. On text clues, it's all coming together. What country <laughs> yeah. are we in? We're um, in the you're... country of Aeth. Sorry. Oh no, you're good. Please, please interrupt with, with world world stuff, Margaret. Please, please interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> um and so you're 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 helping escort this family from the countryside of Aeth. Um, back into Aeth because the countryside is it's pretty dangerous. There's there's a war going on between Aeth and another country called Hearn. And so you are escorting them back and um, there's a there's a clacker with you. A clacker is a with the Areni Federation. They're the, the Areni Federation's class. They like bombs and and like distributed using... computing yeah distributed I'm sorry. computing I'll no please no please please interrupt <laughs> please i'm over here <laughs> interrupt fact check okay i love it um so you are in you are bringing this family back with the assistance of uh fane the clacker and um he's faking it Huh? Fane. Fane. He's faking it. Faking it. Yes. <laughs> Swish. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, it is two out of five of us saw what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> it is around sleep time, and you hear a rustling nearby, and you are suddenly attacked by something so overwhelming that you are forced to flee. What is it? Consequences of my actions. <laughs> Spiders. Small ones, but really creepy. Cool. So many. So many. Anyone else got ideas? A really bad rainstorm that is raining acid or something. I'm cool. worried about my bike. Acid. You got acid rain and like hundreds of thousands of spiders who oh are... i was thinking there's like three you know just but they're like they're like they got hairy legs could be the consequence of perfidia's actions we don't know yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very true. well okay look when i when i cast the spider curse i didn't realize that they were going to stick around afterwards <laughs> like <laughs> i kind of thought that after they did their business that they would just go away Classic, and classic um, as as it as it turns out, 
spiders love me. Oh, and they pee acid rain. It's challenging. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave that part out of the mix next time. I think. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, so the consequences of everyone's actions um, have caught up with you in the form of giant swarms of spiders and acid rain. Um, and everyone gets up to flee. Um, but after running for a moment, you notice that Thane is not with you. Who goes back to get Thane? I'll go back. I have, I have, I have this bike, this, this mm -hmm. rocket bike. I'll go really fast and I'll come right back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, you go back to uh, get Fane and everyone else. You you manage to get away for a little while, but um, eventually the family, you hear a shriek and they are cornered by the spiders. Um, Ramora, mm -hmm. what me. do you do to save them? I throw vapors uh, and hope that the crosswind doesn't cause it to hit the family. And I go, ah, as I do it, and I kind of like <laughs> turn my body a little bit like half away and stand up on one foot and then throw the vapors because the spiders are so gross. Yeah, I moved yeah. out of the country in the first place. <laughs> that and my parents not yeah. being supportive of my decisions. But the spiders. But I say spiders. all of this. Yes. I'm explaining the spiders. as I screaming uh, through acid rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then Roger, while Grimora is helping the family, you notice something that is bad that is about to happen to her. How do you intervene and what is it? Something bad that's about to happen to Grimora? Yeah. Ooh. Well, that depends on how I'm allowed to use my rats. I have questions about that. <laughs> um, you I... know, I, I think for now, just go with your instincts. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some rats at the problem. Um, <laughs> so it kind of depends on what's about to happen to her. But I could, you know, I could I could stack them. Um, I could launch them uh i could whip them they i could i could sort of <laughs> whatever rat based solution would probably be my first um my first instinct <laughs> is it a stacking or a or a tossing or a whipping or a what is it <laughs> or a launching it's more like a like a swarming you know like you okay to do stuff and then they probably do it they're all they're all they're all out wait they're but what's happening out. to me yeah, what's happening to Grimora? A bad oh. thing. Well, I maybe there's like an uh, an impending impending predator of some of some sort. Something else has come out of the woods that maybe other than could the be spiders. More, more other than, than the many spiders. many spiders. Yeah. Maybe they were running. The spiders were running from this thing. Yeah, oh, from shit. this from this big mammal that maybe could be conquered by a swarm of rats, but difficult to say. Oh, see, it wasn't my fault. The spiders were just scared. You should all be a little bit more charitable to them next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful. So you, the rats, intervene in yeah. this unidentifiable creature. mammal. Mammal. Yeah, Hard which to none say. of us have seen before. Yeah, beautiful. Like a bear without a head, just four <laughs> legs. It's a bear that was left outside in acid rain for months, and so Gosh. it really is difficult to tell. Yeah. it's extremely angry yeah and who could blame who could blame this poor bear yeah um, but unfortunately the rats do have to take it out <laughs> beautiful okay and turnivus is that how to say your name turnivus sure cool <laughs> you are back with fane where you were mm -hmm. camping and yeah. there are so glad to be away from that scary yeah. situation that sucked Thane is covered in spiders. Oh, God. Um, how, <laughs> how do you get them out of this situation? They are just, like, frozen with fear. Um, I'm 
going to yell at them to move and get on the back of my dog's wheel, like ASAP, like do a little dance, just like dance it off. Spiders hate dancing. Um, Just like, you know, like vibe it out. It's going to be okay. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Beautiful. They hop on the dog's wheel and y'all rock it away. And you catch back up with the rest of the group, except everyone has become lost. And Perfidia, how do you lead everyone back to the city? I will use my familiar, my spectral pet snake, Hindrance Pinkerton Lemon Hand, the 14th, <laughs> to climb up to the top of the tree and come back down and tell me what's the right way to go. You can call her Hindi Pinky for short. Wonderful, wonderful. Hindrance, Hindi, Pinky, hin, hin, Hindrance. Hindrance, Pinkerton, Lindsay. Lemon Hand, the 15th. <laughs> Only when it's she's in trouble, though. Like, it's never had hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leads, you, leads you back to Penumbra City, and everyone gets out of this situation unscathed. I saw a spider, though. I, I can't say unscathed. It's truly <laughs> accurate. It had... <laughs> At least seven, seven legs. I lost count. <laughs> As we're walking back, it's sort of like interesting that we're talking about the spiders and I, no one has talked about this gigantic bear-like creature that was defeated by my rats. What if you're the only one who saw it? <laughs> I take it personally and I feel... I mean, there was just one bear. There was like 8 million spiders. Did you? Yeah. There was That's like more spiders than I could get. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, and, and perhaps if one before. wasn't so busy counting the legs of the spiders, then maybe <laughs> something else could have been done about them in a more timely manner. It's true. It's true. Beautiful. I'm a hero. Lamar <laughs> is a hero. Um, You're Turnivis. a survivor. Turnivus, because no one saw you except for Fane. What do you tell everyone else you, how do you tell, what do you tell everyone else you did to get Fane back? <laughs> um, I probably don't explain that there was even a problem. I'm just like, yeah, 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 whatever. It was fine. Like I just got Fane and then now we're back in out. Like don't, it's fine. It's all good. I don't explain. <laughs> Cool. I've already moved on to the next next thing. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> so after your after your um harrowing night in the countryside, you Margaret shaking her head because this is a, a terrible place. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I thought you were shaking your head because of the horrible pun. Oh. Wait, what was the say it again? I was so focused on how much harrowing. I you are harrowing. Oh, uh, OK. So but no one's going to get this. The oh, the larger world in this game is called the world of Harrow. Um, but that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, this is why we don't leave the city. I agreed. Yeah, it's gross out there. Yeah, I don't but... know. me and the rats kind of like the open sky. <laughs> nice you know what open sky means to a rat right is is you're just vulnerable to like all kinds of things bears yeah we're trying yeah. to be more vulnerable Birds, headless bears <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to let ourselves be more vulnerable in front of each other so this actually feels good for us oh i love that yeah. for you yeah we've been pretty gristle. closed off <laughs> yes <laughs> we're trying to not be shy about our needs <laughs> I'm so proud of you in this growth moment. Thank you so much. So it's probably been a couple months since that harrowing night. And um y'all y'all find yourself maybe how how do y'all stay together? How do y'all work together after that night? I keep pranking Grimora by leaving rubber spiders outside of her door. 
I've set my old lab on fire and moved to it twice. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no I've idea that they were rubber. <laughs> yeah, I'm you, not rude. So you always show up to help. <laughs> They know where we live. I keep up with everyone because I keep sending notes to everyone that says they know where we live. <laughs> and I've been responding to those notes with really long letters, trying to get to know Grimora better. And then she just sends the same note back. <laughs> Roger is basically my child. We have um, bonded over our extreme mutual pettiness and our love for lurking in dark areas. And I disagree with that in the most dramatic way possible at any opportunity. <laughs> you love it. But yeah, if you get one drop of anything in me, I will start to call you mom. <laughs> um, the rats one... have learned how to do flips. Hell yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> they also helped me move. That's the best part. <laughs> they did. <laughs> and I was waiting for your thank you note, and I remembered that it never came. It said, they know where we live. <laughs> the thank you's implied. <laughs> That's what the rats said, too. <laughs> um, One day, all of you get a very hastily scrawled note from Thane um, that reads urgent come to the plaza need help if this is because they saw a spider again i can't keep getting up in the middle of the night for this (laughs) i immediately wonder if fane ever wrote um turnivus a thank you note for that time that turnivus saved them and um refuse to be interested in in Bane's problem until I know the answer. <laughs> they did. They definitely the wrote answer. me a thank you note. It was very sweet, honestly. Uh, they, yeah. <laughs> well, that's I knew Fane was good. All right, I'll show up. Yeah, Fane, Fane's a good one. We're, 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 we're tight. <laughs> okay, good. Um, F- Fane baked Turnivus like a like five layer tower cake. It uh-huh. it looks it looks like tri- a miniature Triumph Tower. Um, which um, is the giant tower in the middle of the plaza. <laughs> and I am deeply motivated by snacks, and I think we should go to the plaza because <laughs> snacks. <laughs> my uh, my new shop is right on the edge of the plaza anyway, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm already here. And so I put down, there's like, I get the note, and there's like someone screaming on a table, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. And I like kind of hastily, I'm not even looking. I sort of finish patching them up and then I turn and walk away without saying anything. And I'm like, don't worry about it. As if they've done me, the I'm doing them the solid. Um, and I've left the donor corpse where it lies. I forgot to put it back in the refrigerator. See, you know, the spiders are one thing, but this is how you're going to wind up with ants and brooches. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it's gonna Thane, be in the back of my mind the whole time. I sent Thane a copy of the short story I was writing about the uh time someone broke my heart and I never let it go 15 years ago, and I'm still waiting on their notes. So I figure kill two birds with one stone, come to the plaza, see what's up. <laughs> uh Perfidia, are you are you joining? I forget if you said already. Oh, oh, I'm I'm absolutely already there. Beautiful. But I'm grumbling about whether or not I'm gonna have to kill another damn spider. <laughs> um you all arrive on Fane's doorstep and you know, fortuitously at the same time you all walk up at a, exactly the same moment. And is this like um, a row home? Yeah, it's like a it's like a little like row home. Um Except uh, one 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 side of the row house is like the the house next to it isn't isn't there anymore, or you know parts of it are there, but not most of it. And uh, Fane immediately opens the door and like panically like looks around and is like, "Get inside! Get inside!" I close my umbrella that I've been carrying everywhere ever since the acid rain, and go inside. 
I noticed that my short story is in the envelope I mailed it in on the counter and just sort of my jaw tightens a little. (laughs) And I don't talk for a while. (laughs) Um, Great. Uh, Fane notices you um, look at it and then like looks back and is like, oh, I was just about to send this back to you. Um, I, 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 I really loved it. I really loved it. Ear. <laughs> and there's a bunch of notes in it. <laughs> and I'm just nodding, not really opening my mouth and saying, yeah, it's a really crazy time right now. So that makes sense. <laughs> um, and F- Fane, Fane looks like, Fane is like sweating a lot and is just like, like have 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 y'all not heard about what's going on? You don't look nearly panicked enough. It's like sunny. I'm outside. tapping a rolled up newspaper on my palm. Like, where is it? Oh, um, well, we've been so on edge we didn't put out a new edition of the newspaper. Um you you, you haven't heard about all the disappearances? The grisly murders? Whoa. Are they grislier than usual? Yes. The rats and I are trying to consume less news. Tornavis, what what did you say? That was was a grizzly bear that whole time? I thought it was like something else. No, 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 I'm talking about now. Now there's, there's, so there's been a string of like disappearances or like probably Mm -hmm. murders. It's hard to tell. And ever, ever, me. Oh, oh! I, also, I, you know, we we don't know what kind of bear that was. We never really did see the head. <laughs> okay, but I explained what the head looked like to everybody many times. Yeah, but every it's time it's slightly different. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Everyone's really busy right now, so. Okay, so so people are missing, and when they're turning up, they're not even like usable. It's like they're too cut up. Well, the bodies are missing. Like no one's seen it. Oh, yeah. I suddenly like suddenly I check in to the story. <laughs> Supply chain issues. Yeah. Maybe That's... they're just uh on vacation and it's fine. Um, well, it's like I well you, you, you know you know that um that that dog girl uh uh Mallory who throws really cool parties. Oh yeah. Mallory yeah. Wolf. Yeah, well Mallory you know, Mallory like went out for for some some drinks and um like you know went back behind an alleyway to piss and uh then Mallory's friends went to go went to go find her and they just you know they found a little bit of blood and some torn fabric and her like her like bracelet but that's it and like no one's no one's heard from her and few days and it's it's been it's been stuff like that you know like the like people disappearing there being like a little bit of like blood or something but no bodies and you know there's no bodies turning up in the in the in the water so that's awful not to be that rat king but it is kind of a relief to hear that about Mallory because I was beginning to get a little pissed that I hadn't heard from them in a while after we agreed to go to dinner a couple of weeks ago. Um, but that's really sad to hear. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe maybe if we find her. Yeah, she then can... she'll finally go. Yeah. Make good on the promise. Well, I'm invested. <laughs> we have to find her body. <laughs> <laughs> Can't let her go to waste. And then I look at myself and I'm like, no, she she had excellent skin. Good skin, just really. Oh, what a shame. Okay. Uh, anyway, you call I, us over here. Yeah, it's just you know we were we were putting our heads together over at the uh, our newspaper meeting and um, we we were thinking like you know who who could who like who who could solve this mystery who could who could 
figure out what's going on. And I remember that night with the with the spiders and that that weird thing that Roger says that they saw. And um, uh, I we thought, yeah, like this 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 group is is perfect. They're great at dealing with situations. They're 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 great at. I mean, y'all, y'all got, y'all got me out of acid rain and swarms of spiders. So like y'all were pretty high on my list of like, they'll, they'll know what to do. They'll be able to figure it out. Um, plus everyone else is like kind of occupied with the, uh, y'all seen the, the, the saints going around in like full scale, like mobilization to like round people up for the war. Well, that's, that's what most of the, that's what, we're putting a lot of our resources into right now is just trying to like keep tabs on the, on the cops. But I pull out like three scalpels and I'm like, I've also been putting resources into those saints. I have my arms folded and I'm like, Oh, cool. It's nice to be called after everyone who isn't missing or militarized is already busy. Thanks for thinking of us. I'll do it on one condition. Well, what's that? Is, I, it friend, is it friendship? Yeah. Well, no, that's uh, okay. But I, I don't want to get ants at my place, and I left in a hurry because because you're my friend, and I wanted to come in a hurry. But I I left a, a guy out. Um, not, not the living one. I'm sure he got out fine. The the dead one. Um, if if someone could put him back in the fridge. I just um because I, I don't know, it doesn't have to be you, but if you could put out the word someone I, just if we're going directly because it sounds like it needs and, to be taken. And care times of right being away. what they are, I feel you really can't afford to lose this. No, yeah, apparently. It's, it's <laughs> hard to come by. Especially if they're taking all the people out to the war. Anyway, um Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, totally, totally. This weekend. Oh. What was that? I was wondering why there wasn't anything else cool happening this weekend. So I'm bored. Let's go. <laughs> Thank, thanks y'all so much. The, we're, we'll, we'll throw y'all what, you know, when this is all over, we'll throw a huge party for y'all here, here in the plaza. Um, we'll, we'll do it all up really, really nice. Um, yeah. I'll come right over for my dinner with Mallory, probably. Oh, <laughs> sweetie. Yeah, I don't think yeah. that's going to happen. I don't know. I think it is. I've talked it through with the rats and they seem optimistic. I mean, I certainly think I deserve it. Well, there was that play that the that they put on last week uh, called um, Weekend at um, Bernard, Bernard's. <laughs> yes. And it was, uh, it, I think you'll be able to go on a date with Mallory no matter what. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Well, you know, alive or dead. Probably a lot. Well, Okay. Sorry, that was more. I'm in. Well, that's fine. Let's go. Yeah. She's probably just like you hauling or something. She just like fell in love and <gasps> you know off in love jail or something. Like that's Mallory. You know she does that mm -hmm. all the time. If Perfidia's dead, but usually no, without wait, Perfidia the blood. Talks to the dead. <laughs> Don't kink shame Perfidia. I'm just but, dead on the inside. <laughs> right, but but you can talk to the dead. This is gonna be. We're gonna be over in time for us crashing that date oh really it's so nice to know you care obviously we're invested yeah don't pay attention i will just be sitting at the next place over reading the new issue of the newspaper because it'll be able to come out because we'll have saved the day no this exactly. is gonna this is this is um fame to set up a good Great. caper Where oh we... wonderful Sorry. i i knew that i knew y'all would i knew i knew y'all would take the job um well, um, you know, you could go over to the 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 bar that Mallory got snatched behind, or um, I heard I heard some commotion over at um that that pie shop over in uh, South Penumbra. Um, pie, 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 my darling, I think it was called. Um, and oh, not not kiss, kiss, pie, pie. No, that's that's over in Old Town. I mean, you know, maybe they had someone disappear there too, but um, 
That, that, Are that you was... just going in order of your favorite pies <laughs> where we're investigating? Are you coming with I us, mean, Faye? Is this just is... a way to get pie? <laughs> <laughs> do you, I mean, All of the do... pie in this town has been shit since the pie war. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, do you do you want me to? Do you, I'll come with y'all if y'all want. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, I was going to go. I was going to go put that that dead guy in the freezer for you, uh, Grimora. Well, we should go with someone else, too, because it's not safe. Um, I heard from one of my favorite people that people have been going disappearing. Yeah, no, it's true. OK, yeah, I'll get I'll get I'll get one of the I'll get one of the newspaper um, dweebs to uh, go with me. And um, I'll I mean, where, where do you all think you'll go first? Maybe I could catch up with you all later. Uh, well, which pie is best? I mean, um, which had the most recent disappearance? Um, well, there was some commotion going on over at Pie Pie Pie, my darling, this mm -hmm. morning, and mm -hmm. Mallory went missing, uh, like night, not last night, but the night before. And totally, you know, like off the record, like, do you have a pie preference? Um, I. <laughs> I don't eat meat. I, I really like grosses I, me out. <laughs> I really like pie pie pie, my darling. Oh well, that works out great. Let's let's definitely go there. All right, <laughs> Pidia, do you feel like that works with uh your? I don't know the timeline for your your dead talking. Well, I feel like in order to talk to the dead, I probably need to be nearby to them. Near your pie, pie. to them. Mm. Near pie. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're not handling this with the seriousness the situation deserves. <laughs> I think she's I think everyone's fine. I just think it's interesting that no one asked me if I'm busy today. <laughs> this is what she would have wanted. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Do you, Roger, do you... I mean, what do you even do? <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you asked, Grimora, because art can happen anywhere. And that's the most important thing about it. So I'm free today. <laughs> oh, great. Roger, yeah. Roger, when we're done with this, I would totally love to go do like rat tricks with you down by the river or something. Really? Yeah, that sounds so fun. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I'm going to coast on this for weeks. <laughs> And then I hand you one of my rats, one of the good ones. <laughs> Thank God it's a good one. Top shelf rat, not not an angry one. I put it on top of my head. <laughs> All right, let's go to Pie Pie Pie. It's so nice to see you two bonding. Cool. Um, you head over to pie 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 my darling in south penumbra which is just just borders the uh the plaza and there is there's definitely some commotion going on out in front of the pie shop um you can see the people who look like they uh probably like run the pie shop like in in aprons just kind of like pacing around you see like a crowd of crowd of onlookers some of whom are eating pie and um they're kind of all standing around in a, a little a little like semi-circle i go see what they're all standing around <laughs> with scalpels hidden up my sleeves ready to go i want to use an ability um, okay. I want to use my strangest of places ability where once per day, a dog girl can make a knowledge check in any moderately crowded social situation. And if I pass, I can announce that I have a contact there who is neutral or friendly. Ooh, beautiful. This seems ideal. <laughs> um, okay. So my knowledge is 11 and I rolled a one. Ooh, that is you excessively <laughs> succeed. <laughs> you know everyone there i know everyone here <laughs> yeah 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 um like everyone kind of turns and they're like turn to this um, oh my god we're so glad to see you 
Um, they immediately try to get in on it. And I'm like, that's my rat on their head. <laughs> um, the, the, I... the, the pie shop owner like, like walks over and just like, you know, slaps a hand on your chest and is like, turn of us. It's, we haven't seen you in so long. Are you going to come back for that free pie? When you, yeah. I, is, is that what you're here for? I I'm wish... totally here for free pie right now. Um, you know, lemon meringue is my favorite, and I really, really hope you have some in hand. Um, also wondering if you knew about any mysterious blood splatters nearby or around or anything like that. But I'm mostly here for the pie, to be honest. Um, there's just also some other thing that I'm going to have to deal with at some point. I'm so glad to see you all again. It's so nice. Uh, I haven't been here in ages. I um, forgot to come. Yeah, no, 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 no worries. No, you know, it's it's always waiting for you. And um, well, our, our, my 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 mama she went missing this morning um and then we heard some commotion around the side of the building and all we see was found is this there's this and motions down and there's like a torn scrap of fabric um and some blood and some like um some strange black greenish like goo um and some like scratch marks on the cobblestones is this green goo like a new pie flavor or something like a, no like a no no don't don't situation don't, like slaps your hand away and is like don't touch it i it and then like shows you shows you his hand and there's like it's like like his fingertips look like burnt well oh god it's like yeah rain. what rain um, oh um the rain's a like customer it's not a different thing that happened okay um yeah what 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 brings y'all over here um, well, we kind of well, heard it was the best pies locally. They are. They're oh, it totally is. It is. the best it's, pies. It is the yeah. best pies. If if mama's missing, I don't know if we'll continue to be the best pies. But did you, oh, see, like, now did you really like your cool mom? Problem. Like, oh, I, 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 love, I know if I someone love. told me that my mom was dead, I'd be like happy. And so I shouldn't act happy. I should act sad. I'm yeah, sorry for your missing. loss. It, it hasn't even been a full day. Like, I'm sure your mom is fine. Oh, We're right, totally right. going to find her somewhere. It's going to yeah. be okay. Yeah. Um, a this good, weird good goo parent. situation Those exist. Is, is a little, is a little, uh, uh, weird. Um, I don't know if anyone knows, knows, knows things about these things. I point, <laughs> like, I point to a rat, uh, that's like, right here on me and I say that's my mom and then I give her a little kiss and say she's awesome <laughs> I'd be devastated if anything happened to her so so yeah um do I in my experience of fungal goo and gore have I seen anything like this green goo before I'm expecting no, but I'm just curious. Yeah, make a make a knowledge check. Ooh, that's where I'm a Viking. Ooh. Um, I guess I know a little bit about fungus too, right? Yeah, you're you're the other mycomancer of the group. Yeah. Well, um, do we know that it's fungal in nature? It could also be magical in nature, in which case I might know about it. I rolled a thirteen, and my knowledge is thirteen, which I believe means I succeeded, but that doesn't necessarily mean I know the answer. Just I don't know. um. You have maybe never seen anything like this quite before, Grimora. Um, mm -hmm. However, um, there is something weirdly, it's, it's like sort of fungal, but like not really. I'm going to prod it with my scalpel. Cool. Um, nothing happens to the scalpel. I'm going to carelessly wipe the scalpel off on my bare skin it burns i go ow 
I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and I put the scalpel away. Um, the I know money chop... doesn't exist, but if someone talks highly of me about it, I would I would lick it. I would I would it, sing the tales of <laughs> no it, it burns who licking abilities, <laughs> no, but it... I would advise against it. Okay, <laughs> we'll probably make fun of you if you lick it. It's... No, <laughs> well then don't lick it. It's clearly too spicy for you. Yeah. Oh, Part yeah. of this, I would write a poem about it. So, okay, I'm not gonna lick it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've all seen Roger's poetry. I don't even. I'm like. <laughs> I don't know. Have any of you seen it? That's the question. A lot of closed envelopes in this group. I was um, lost in the fire. Which one? Oh, yeah. The one that I set because there was a spider in front of my house. <laughs> Again, which one? Fair. Um, There's a pattern but- here. Uh, the the pie shop owner uh, who I forgot to introduce, um, whose name is Borkin, um, Borkin, um, uh, kind of like is like seeing y'all start to like investigate, and then like kind of like shoes everyone away, and is like like go back to your business, let them let them work in peace, Mal or Turnivus. I'm gonna I'm gonna go inside, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make y'all fresh. Ooh, what what's everyone's favorite pie? I'm gonna I'm gonna get y'all some pie while you work. Do you have vegetarian meringue. shepherd's pie? Meringue. Absolutely. Lemon meringue, vegetarian shepherd's. I don't I don't eat meat. It's gross. Uh, beef horse. Beef beef horse. You you points to perfidia. Mm, perfidia pie. <laughs> Extra belladonna, please. <laughs> Extra <laughs> Bella Don. Okay. Great. <laughs> like looks a little confused and then just like walks into the pie shop and uh, everyone kind of lingers around for a second and they kind of like clear, clear away. I want to wait before everyone goes away. I want to like, you know, wander through the crowd of everyone who loves me and ask about Mallory. If anyone sees Mallory, like what's the gossip on Mallory? Is she seeing anyone? Um, Is she doing anything lately? Like what's up with Mallory? You snipe Mallory from Roger. <laughs> I am looking over at Turnivus and not hiding how I obviously feel about the situation. I just am trying to find her. I'm whispering to a rat, not the first time it's happened. So. That's that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um there there's this there's this like I mean uh, let's be honest how many people at this pie shop know Turney because of a romantic connection in the past No they all have positive associations of me this was my skill check <laughs> <laughs> Um there's this there's this skip uh who's right there named um named uh Charlie and uh, Char- Charlie is a little urchin that that you see around a lot. They're skips, you know. They're they're always around. And um, uh, Charlie's like, oh, Turnivus, I heard that. Uh, uh, I mean, I haven't seen Mallory for you know like since last week, but um, uh, I I heard she had a a a, a date. She was really excited about. And like I oh. Roger, <laughs> my mouth becomes a little butthole. I'm like. Mm. <laughs> I I don't know who it was with, but um, yeah, she was pretty pretty excited. I I heard she went to I heard she went missing too. Yeah, who was she with that night? Um, uh, I I'm I'm not I'm not sure. Um, probably probably a couple other dog girls, you know. Hmm. While this is happening, I'm tapping Perfidia and being like, do the thing. Do the thing. It's so cool. Do the thing. Well, I'm curious to know if this scrap of cloth is something that belonged to the pie shop mama. Like, Um, do we have anything to go on? It looks like a, like, torn piece of clothing, like a piece of, like, a skirt or something like that like it's like a yeah 
and there's a little bit of blood and do you, do you, what do you do do you like like pick it up or like well with uh i i don't know how much distance there is between myself and the potential deceased but if i have something personal of theirs i can try to connect to them in the ether you just you know give me 10 minutes to center myself and maybe a little snack after god 10 minutes i lean over and like it's usually a little more than 10 minutes it's more time well, for you, you know, to hang one out. One can't with rush these things, okay? Very much like your poetry. That's true. That's true. Which you love. Thank God. I've read pie. every single one. <laughs> and you love it. <laughs> I love it. Cool. Do you pick up the fabric to to use it in your your ritual? Yes, I'm gonna need you to shoo everyone away now. I shoo officially. everyone away. Yeah, no, it's stop, stop socializing, Turney, and actually, like, act. Roger, check. Roger, a little Roger, piece. do the rat tricks. Do the rat tricks. Make everyone go over there and do the rat tricks. And I say, okay, you guys, skateboard. And then they make a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> and they leave Perfidia alone. Perfidia has her <laughs> space. <gasps> cool, great. Yeah, Um. Uh, as as many people know, uh, maybe not y'all, uh, because you're, you're friends with Roger, but um, rat Rat kings are are quite unapproachable and quite uh, d- disgusting to yeah, many I'm, people. And I'm everyone sure. except for Charlie the Skip just like leaves. They're like, oh. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, straight, and I'm straight. just saying skateboard <laughs> quieter and quieter every and I, time. I'm like, yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you so much. <laughs> I try and ride some rats like roller skates. I just kind of like. And try to catch them <laughs> in my shoes. <laughs> oh my god! Um, Perfidia, when around. when you I'm gonna get out the... my tools and yeah. my blood soaked rag, and I'm yeah. going to make my little circle, and I'm gonna get out my mirror, and my candles and my incense, and I'm going to gaze quietly into this mirror until my eyes go blank and I enter the ether. And all of you have to just make sure nobody, you know, bothers me, breaks my circle, or draws dicks on my face like the last time. I I thought it was a pencil with two erasers. Um, as That's you, not a thing. Um, when you, as you're like squeezing the uh, the little bit of like bloody bloody cloth, um, you feel something hard but soft inside of it and out pokes this a finger wait it was a pocket (laughs) it's kind of like wrapped in it no it's not moving no it's just a it's just a stubby stubby finger okay i go ah then i drop it anyway because i thought it moved (laughs) i pick it up and i analyze it oh my god you guys i thought it moved i try and make it move by poking the tendons with a scalpel when i'm holding it Stop, stop it. You're making it worse. Oh. I turn my back so that you don't have to watch as I try and figure out more information about this finger. I feel like I'm pretty good at dead bodies. Two two of my rats wander over, sniff the finger, come back on my shoulder. I consult with them. I'm like, that's a finger, everyone. That's a finger. Yeah. I tap Perfidia on the shoulder with the finger. (laughs) <laughs> I laugh and then immediately stop when Perfidia makes eye contact with me. I swear to God. <laughs> no, that's right. I will send was... the spiders back to your apartment. I, I turn. I away will tell them I... where you live. <laughs> you wouldn't, and I leave. I leave you alone to go back to consulting the dead while I, I find out. No. Oh, give me the finger back. Put it back in the put it back in the pocket. Oh, do you need it I, for I, the thing? Okay, I give it back. I do need it. I got scared, but I need it. Okay. Just, just, okay. Do, is it can I am I I have blood I and bones. It, you can have it back. Oh no, no, no. I, I'm asking Inman. Um when I look at it, is it like probably mama's finger? Is it like some like does it match the general characteristics and, and all that stuff? Yeah, it looks to be like uh, there's there's some some uh, 
from what you can tell of uh Borkin's uh age you can you could see that it might match like the age of a person who could be Borkin's mom um is it someone who worked with their hands like calluses yeah. and stuff yeah okay kneading kneading dough I smell it before I give it back I'm like smelling it to see if it smells like uh bread and shit not shit. yeah bread. totally does Okay. It smells like bread. The most like, beautiful bread crust you've ever smelled. Yeah, I'm like, this is mama's finger. Man, I hope you I can don't have put it. any you... meat in my pie. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> you can have the finger back when I'm done with it, but I need it right now for, yeah, yeah. for my we all need honey. We all need body parts to do our work. That's understandable. Yeah, I take totally out... normal thing. Absolutely normal thing that everyone totally has to do all the time. Yeah. I take out a notepad I have and start trying to describe the finger poetically, but it's not going well. <laughs> Her finger still smell like bread. Can I? And then I say, I'll pie? finish it later. <laughs> yes. I mean, you you can see Borkin like like working working away. Borkin does not look done. Um, oh, man, yeah, I'm hungry. All his finger stuff. <laughs> Um, okay, don't, don't tell Borkin about the finger until <laughs> no 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 we're no, done absolutely not okay <laughs> his mom is fine I'm sure still this I mean this is like people lose fingers all the time it's it's yeah let's yeah, find as her. long as we get what it you... we can put it back everything yeah. needs its right place if you're losing fingers that's why you get a you get like it's about the size of a shoebox and you keep it with the never mind <laughs> she seems to know what she's talking about I trust it yeah Okay, I'm going to neatly fold the finger back up in the little cloth, and I have my blood and my finger and my stuff. I'm going to try this again. <laughs> Just take a deep breath and focus and well, think ethery thoughts. You enter the ether. The world turns translucent and hazy around you um your friends are um standing around you you every they all kind of blur it's hard to tell if they're moving um but you can faintly see them moving but otherwise the uh you know you're in the same place um but it's much quieter here um you're really quiet and everything is is tinged with a translucent haze. Um, what do you do? I'd like to look around and see if I can find any traces of Mama or a fire attacker or of possibly Mallory. Mm -hmm. If she also disappeared in the area. Well, um you look around and um you look through the window of pi 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 my darling and um you can see this like hazy form of what you have assumed to be borkin like um but it's 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 hard to tell as it's hard to see anyone on the material plane when you're in the ether but what's weird is you see someone standing next to borkin and it's this um slumped older woman who you can see very clearly and who is somewhat translucent herself and is like like looking over his shoulder and like like she's like pointing her finger at um at the dough and looks like she's like nitpicking what what he's doing oh, she doesn't know poor thing I'm going to pass through the wall and try to communicate with her what, in what the do you pie say? shop. Hey, excuse me, are you are you the owner of this establishment? She looks over and like kind of like looks at you a little strangely and is like well, well no, my son is he's the owner, but I um I I helped start it. What brings you're you in? Borkin's mama. Y yes, yes, he's my he's my darling, my darling son. What 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 can we get for you today? 
oh, well, your darling son is working on something for myself and my friends right now, but um, he's very concerned about you. Can you, do, can you tell us where you've been, what you've been up to since this morning? Well, I, you know, I, I was going out for my morning stroll when, while Borkin fired up the ovens and um, I went down the alleyway like I normally do. Um, I like to feed the I like to feed the rats out there, the the day olds. And um, I was feeding the rats. And then I heard this strange noise behind me. And when I turned around, there was just a, a mouth. And I... I remember putting my hand up to shield my face and then she like puts her hand up and there's like a finger that's missing from her other hand. Um, and then she, she looks at it and she, she kind of connects with her and she's like, and then it, it's mouth snap shut. And then I was back in here watching Bork and make some bad dough, but he doesn't seem to be able to hear me. And she just kind of zones out. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. Are you just now realizing what's happened to you? I... Are you, are you an angel? I can't claim to be, but I, I am here to help you pass on. But before you, before you go and your body rejoins the rot and your spirit rejoins the ether, I, I need to know more about what happened to you so that we can try to help other people. Oh, Shit. We need to keep your son safe, your child, your reason yeah. for living, and your pie I, shop. I really, I really pie, pie, pied my darling. Oh, it's okay. It happens to the best of us, it happens to literally all of us. It, it was going to happen. I, all I remember is I saw this giant mouth. There were feathers. I didn't see teeth. And there was a horrible, I felt something wash over me and start burning. And there were claws and a horrible sound, like a, a shriek that made me just freeze in my step. And that's, I'm sorry, that's all I can remember. And it was, it was still um, dark out or was it daytime at this point? It was, it was, you know, pre-dawn, dark-ish. Um, um, I'm so well, sorry that this happened to you, but... Before, you'll, you'll be remembered by everyone in the pie shop and um Borkin loves you very much thank you um tell okay this is gonna sound weird but um i never told Borkin the real secret to making the dough he thinks he knows but he doesn't and um it's it's hidden in a little uh a little sugar jar underneath the counter it it's and it there's there's my it, it has my secret ingredient to the dough he doesn't know about it that dough and she points down to the dough that's not gonna be right and just tell him that we'll tell him 
and that I love him, I guess. No, I do. I do. I love him. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. I'm going to just touch her gently on the cheek and say, be, be well in your journey and uh, break my trance and leave. Well, um, back in other people time. Uh, so as this is happening, um, it's been maybe a couple minutes and Perfidia is just standing stark still. Um, and um, after a couple minutes, you hear some boots a clunking and you see walking up um, three members of the Kingsmen or the cops of Penumbra City. They have, um, one of them has a very fancy looking sword at her side and the other two are carrying these grotesque devices called man catchers, um, which are used to catch people in a hideous way. And they start walking towards you. My and... dude, it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> I I walk up. Okay, I have two <laughs> questions. Uh -huh. One, um, I don't think my reputations were set. Is that... Do, is it still where a patchworker picks one coalition to have a point of reputation with or no? Oh yeah. I guess this is something we never quite figured out, but yeah, I would say, you, yeah. Put, put okay. one point of reputation where you want it to be. Okay. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put it in the revolutionist because I think that's more realistic, but <clears throat> I'm going to go up and use my ability of, uh, it's called no one's friend, no one's enemy. Once per session per level, a patchworker can lose a, a positive point of reputation with one faction to gain a point of reputation with a faction. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, thank God you're here. We're losing the war. We need more people. Am I right? Right, friends? <laughs> I'm going to try and lose a point of reputation with the revolutionists to gain a point of reputation with the bulwark. <laughs> meanwhile um, i have a lot of scalpels in my hand uh -huh, uh -huh. but they well, can't see it mm -hmm. um the uh the woman with the fancy sword looks at you like a little like like who the fuck is this person trying to talk to me like we're friends you know um and she's like uh you are right um, but it, I'm sorry, excuse me. We were, we're on business. We heard that there was, um, we were informed of a, a, a potential crime that had been committed, um, at the pie shop and we are. Um, That's exactly right. And here they're not going to show you the right way to get there. It's through this alley. Come with me. Just you. Uh, roll, roll a, you're going to roll a will check with a disadvantage die because there is, they're like within sight of the marquee. That's fine. I'm yeah. going to use my, um, my iron willed skill where I can roll knowledge <laughs> instead of will on one check per level. Okay. Still, still at this. Yeah, no, I'll probably yeah. fail this, but yeah. I don't care. <laughs> uh, ah, Motherfuck. Without the disadvantage, I rolled a one and an 18. Oh, <laughs> um, shit. That's too bad. All right. Um, the 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 woman with the sword like looks at you and then looks at the pie shop and uh make a speed check. Yeah. Okay. To, um she looks down at your um hands. Well they're on my sleeve. I failed okay. my speed check. Um <laughs> They're up my sleeve, but I failed. Okay, okay. <laughs> They're up your sleeve, um, but she kind of looks down and is mm -hmm. like, what? "What? You wouldn't be trying to mislead members of the King's Guard, would you?" Um, I I believe I now have a positive reputation point with the King's Guard, right? Um. Yeah, they're like. I know it doesn't skeptical. magically solve yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. They're How like many of skeptical. them are there? There's three of them. They're like skeptical, oh. but not like. I'm just gonna stab them. Yes, I sounded. 
Oh, uh, wait, wait. Am I out of my trance yet, or am I still no, in my trance? You are. You are oh. still in your trance. Can I be oh, eating pie yet? <laughs> if you go inside to get pie, okay, I'm gonna do that. Orcus. I do that as soon as the cops show up. I just go in and okay. pretend like I'm, I'm just I'm, eating pie this whole time. I'm afraid to talk to them. I feel like I'm really my presence is gonna bring the vibe down significantly if I even make my presence known. Oh, I'm bringing the vibe down right now. <laughs> it's going down fast. <laughs> Patchworkers have an ability where I can attack when they don't expect me to. And then get bonuses if I attack while people are calm or tense instead of in combat. <laughs> yeah, and to be to be clear, uh, Grimora, um, the the King's Guard looks like concerned and skeptical, but not like not like about to like attack you or anything. Like great, that. they're just so you know, the moment of calm. I stab yeah. them in the neck. <laughs> okay, great. Um, make a make a make a speed check with a die of advantage. We're gonna see if they are extra surprised. Or is okay. surprise I mean, just is surprise just built into Master so, Anatomy? Okay, so I the would way be it's extra written, surprised if somebody stabbed me in the neck. Yeah. Um. Like, so a patchworker armed with a knife, such as a scalpel, may during calm or tension make an attack with one die of advantage per level. Mm -hmm. This stacks with the die granted from surprising an opponent. Yes. Uh, during tension, I have to make a check. Great. Um. Is this tension or calm right now? It's for, calm. For yeah. anyone who's listening, there's three styles of, there's three levels of intensity in the game. There's calm, tension, and combat. And so different rules apply in different ways. So I believe I don't need to make a check, and I believe I have two dies of advantage on this attack. Yes, a, that, that would be correct. With a knife. Yeah. Um, but you're just getting one out of the three in the neck? Yeah, but I am t fighting okay. two-handed, so it's a two, it's two knives. It's two okay, scalpels. okay. Just checking. Um, yeah, no, this is going to go badly, <laughs> especially since everyone just left. But um, maybe I get, well, I, am I still there? I feel like I'm still there. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. still around, right? Yeah. Can I, I help? Yeah, I think as soon as I do this attack, like regular combat will probably start. I, for some weird All reason, right. think that they're not going to just hang out and talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Wild. so I'm going to use one of my advantage dice to be more likely to hit and one of my advantage dice to do more damage. Beautiful. Um, because for anyone who's listening, advantage dice when you're fighting can be either used to make it more likely to hit or add more damage. So I'm rolling 2d20 to hit, and if either one succeeds, I succeed. I did not succeed. On That's either the of end of that. Yeah, no, I got a 19 and a 13, um, and my speed is 11. Oh, golly. Well, okay. Uh, so I um... really kind of blew this. Um, with that, with that, we're going to roll initiative. Um, so the way that we roll initiative in this game is um, everyone will roll a d20. And if you pass a speed check, then you go before the opponents. If you fail the speed check, you go after the opponents. And um, Perfidia, we're going to we're going to have you roll, but you are solidly still in your trance. Um <laughs> Is there a, I can't remember if we wrote like rules about how long it takes to get out of trance. I know we did, I know this happened last time we played too. Oh, did it? Yeah. Um, I believe that it is a free action to come out of the trance, but um, uh, the, the way that we're kind of stacking this is uh, we're, we're going to say that um, uh, uh, y'all, this has started to occur with like, a minute left to go before Perfidia was going to. Oh shit! I yeah. I got an I'm eleven, sorry. and my yeah. speed is eleven. You passed. Well, you passed. Yay. Um. Okay. Maybe before we roll initiative, can I use my reckless ability to just drive my dog's wheel into them and see if that makes them go away, and we can all run away? <laughs> Um, we, so we're, we're, we're going to get into the initiative and, um, cause, uh, you, you, this, this whole surprise thing has, has happened. So we're, we're, we're okay. just going to roll through it. In we're doing it. Round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th things are already in motion. I rolled an eight and my speed is 13. I rolled an 11 and I'm pretty sure my speed is also 11. I rolled a 20. I'm just not doing well tonight. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've succeeded at like nothing. <laughs> but confidence all the way through. And that's yeah. what counts. Yeah. Well, okay. 
So, um, uh, Roger and Turnivus, it is your turns first, and y'all can decide as players who you would like to go first. Roger, you Ooh. can go first. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> that was, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> okay. I mean, whichever, I guess. <laughs> I, well, I was thinking, okay, so I just want to be sure that I've got the lay of the land correctly. We've got one cop stabbed in the neck and we've got two cops just loose, right? I successfully stabbed nobody. Yeah. yeah. So we have no cops stabbed in the neck. Okay. So that yeah. does change my plan. Cause I do have like a swarm option where I can have the rats swarm, you know, a, a few different people. Um, I guess I don't technically have time to gut check that with anybody. <laughs> That's my Go instinct. I just <laughs> always want to deploy the rats. I want to have them swarm them. And and Great. and maybe that'll just get them out of the way. Great. So you yeah, you direct your swarm onto the do you want it on so you can have it go onto one person. So there's the uh the woman with the sword who appears to be in charge, and then there's these mm. two other people with these like weird spear looking objects. Oh, it's hard to say. Um hmm. I guess that the woman with the sword is already used to being uh attacked so i'll go for her great um so i am going to ask you to make a will check um to succeed at getting the rats to uh <laughs> put themselves into danger okay so i'm rolling yeah i'm rolling i got a four. Oh yeah cool that is probably far below your your will um, so that is a success. Um, yes. The rats swarm all over the captain um, who has just like like narrowly avoided getting stabbed in the neck twice um, and is now covered in rats. And it is going to cause one point of damage to the uh, to the captain. And you see the rats just like go right past her armor and just start like biting on her neck. Whoa. Okay, so I have two abilities that relate to this. One is, um, there's an ability, uh, patchworkers are the only class in the game that literally knows the hit points and calls them hit points of different people because patchworkers are morbid and like thinking about how much it would take to kill somebody. How many hit points do all of these baddies have? My first question. Yeah, so the um, so, so the captain has um, eight hit points and then the, the, uh, the two uh, mooks with um, uh, man catchers um, mm -hmm. have uh, five hit points each. Okay. And my next, I'm going to use my reaction ability. Needs another knife in there. Cool. Um, and try and stab this motherfucker again. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, but to be clear, I mean this <laughs> this motherfucker who has done nothing wrong besides be a cop. Besides yes. be a cop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um, how do I? I just roll a d20, mm -hmm. then probably fail. Um, I succeeded. What happened? Hold on, now I have to figure out how much damage a knife does. One d four plus one because it's wielded two handed. Okay, or yeah. knife in each hand, but yeah. Um, okay. Uh, two, two. Cool. <laughs> I just rolled the lowest possible. <laughs> yeah, you you stab you stab at this you stab at this person who's covered in rats. You manage to you know it's hard to it's hard to get it in there because the rats have kind of like taken up space. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I love uh, when they take up space. <laughs> yeah. Um, I um, think I but, can leave. I'm gonna leave the knife in there. Okay. Cool. Leave that knife in there. Yeah. I'm just used all of. I think I've used all of my yes. abilities. <laughs> I love all right. it. All right. Margaret famously using all of her abilities. Um yeah. uh Roger, uh do you got anything else you can do on your turn? I think I think probably not, but Ooh. I but I appreciate the trick question. Um hmm. well, like maybe yeah. I about something, you know. You could move, you could um I I don't think you have any free actions available, but I don't think so either. Yeah. I, I think I'm just gonna get out of the way uh and and hope that the rats come hope that grimora didn't stab any of my rats by accident <laughs> <laughs> yeah um great 
are you going to get closer or further away? Um, so to give people an idea for ranges, um, you, we have close, which is like zero to five feet. So it's like standing right next to someone. There's nearby, which is five to 60, 30 feet away. And then there's mm -hmm. like distant, which is like 30 feet or more. And I might remember those wrong or I might have changed them. I don't remember. I think I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to stay close because my rats are still there and I want to make sure they're good. Okay, cool. So you move up, you move up closer to them. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, Turnivus, it is your turn. Um, I have a question before we start. I'm seeing a thing called strings attached on a lot of my moves and weapons, but I don't mm -hmm. know what it does because oh, that yeah. is not on this page. Yeah. So um, everyone, a strings attached roll is when you roll. So normally in games, you roll a 20 and a lot of you, you like excessively succeed, but we have kind of done the opposite where if you roll a one, you excessively succeed. But if you roll a 20, then you succeed, mm -hmm. but with a strings attached mm -hmm. uh, like consequence. So like, and so for some of the things, there's descriptions for like suggestions for what the GM should rule as like a strings attached success. So it's like succeeding, but with a price. Okay, cool. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. I guess I see my crew being attacked, and I run out with a pie and put a pie in one of the small cops' face to begin with. Um. <laughs> not as an attack, just as a pie in face. Huge Buster Keaton vibes <laughs> to this attack. <laughs> We're gonna roll now that um all pie throwing is a free action. This has happened. <laughs> Great. If the precedent is set. <laughs> um. Okay. Pie has been thrown, and then I um. I guess we're going for it. I don't like them. They don't like me. Um. Busting out my basic pole arm, and I'm gonna try and stab this sword lady okay cool are you have you jumped on your 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 motorcycle or are you just like on on your foot no i'm just on foot i it's parked in front of the shop it's not cool. that far no you could so dog girls are kind of wacky and i'm saying this from mm -hmm. a purely mechanical standpoint but if you are mm -hmm. not on your dog's wheel your lance is not a great weapon Oh, okay. Um, but you could get onto your dog's oh, wheel and a dog's wheel. You can also crash your bike and do that yeah. reckless thing. Yeah, mm. that might fucking maybe kill I, someone. Maybe I it might kill you, but thing. might kill them. <laughs> no, it won't kill me. It just could kill my bike. And oh, right, which would cause it to explode. <laughs> yes, <laughs> which I guess that could kill everybody. Um, yeah. Where was the reckless thing? Target takes one d twenty damage. That could be good. Um. Yeah, maybe I am just going to do that. Maybe we are just going to, like, oops, there goes the bike. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll be fine, though, you know? Yeah, it's worked for me really well. Just double it <laughs> yeah, all these reckless moves, it's going, it's going fine. But, like, okay. Yeah, all right, let's go. So, speed check. Um, this is a d20 in my hand. Great, good. I pass. I rolled a 9, and my speed is 13. Um, so, now I just roll for damage. Yeah, and you know, I forget how it's written, but um, just because it's since they're all standing literally right next to each other, this damage is going to apply to all of them. Great. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, roll a d twenty. A nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> okay, though. Um, so, um, Grimora and Roger. Oh no. Were, I was um, since since y'all are both standing within oh. proximity okay. to yeah. no, so this is different than how it's written. I will. I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it does yeah, say yeah. like into an opponent. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't it's true. say like AOE damage or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But we're both that... close. But it makes sense right? that it is. So I You're... can't argue with this. <laughs> You're both close, and you hear the engine revving, and you're like, oh fuck, Turnibus is doing that <laughs> thing. How do you get away? Oh, well, I've got priors. I mean, like, or, I, I... Or how do you how do you get out of the way of the motorcycle? Sorry, more more right. specific question. This is, this is your, like, 
This is your like cutscene, like like cool slow mo evasion from getting run into by a motorcycle. <laughs> I take, I move like two feet. I just like doop, <laughs> so that it goes right by me. And like it, like the little like, I don't know. I I don't actually know entirely what I'm wearing. I think I'm actually wearing everything completely skin tight. But so it just like an inch of clearance between me and the bike. It's cool. So it goes past. Uh, for me, the the rats swarm back toward me, and they create a little submarine looking thing, and they and they usher me out of <laughs> harm's way. <laughs> cool, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and all of that happens right as this motorcycle just screams through these these kingsmen, <laughs> and you just you. They look as mangled as you might expect someone who got run over with a dog's wheel to look. Um, their armor is all crushed and ruined, though. And, like, both of the man catchers, like, like one of them, like, snaps in half. And, like, the, the other one looks okay. But um, Perfidia, you, uh, you, like, it's, it's, it's hard to sense what's going on on the material plane. But like, uh, as you're leaving, um, Borkin's mom, um, you like kind of like look around and you can see this kind of like slow motion blur, like moving through the street and, um, you see your friends suddenly for a moment of clarity and like complete turmoil and commotion. Oh, Lord. Is it my turn now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. aren't they all dead now? Yeah, yeah, so they're all dead. I'm just doing this wrap-up little thing. This is what's happening as Perfidia is coming out of... Oh, okay, because I thought I thought they were all dead. The ether. I was like, yeah. oh. Yeah. Oh. So we can come out of the ether, too, is this... I would like, yeah, come out of the ether, immediately throw up, and 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 turn around, and just, just take in what happened and and say i wow i thought i had big news <laughs> i'm just like as if nothing happened right near me i'm like oh uh, i i casually pick my knife out of the neck of the one the lead cop and then i'm like what what happened did you see that though did everyone see that did everyone see how <laughs> cool that was i'm so cool i just got you all out of that stupid situation <laughs> And and I say, oh, Perfidia, it's really interesting that you would make this all about you because clearly we've been busy while you've been, what, sleeping? Well, first of all, I'm going to tell y'all, um, we're not trying the pie today. <laughs> what? Because I have it on good authority that the crust is going to suck. And then oh. a little rat crawls out uh and whispers something to me and i was like oh he just said he ate something in this jar i don't know <laughs> oh how's he feeling has he feeling all right he said it was delicious i don't know good good okay keep an eye on him just in case all right um Bor borkin walks out of the pie shop with like pies in hand and just like looks around just like utterly baffled and then like drops the pies <laughs> i go get my pie oh. off the ground and then eat it <laughs> and it's like what the what the fuck is going on why well, I, I leave for a minute and and you're you're it, you wouldn't believe it the cops they um existed <laughs> And we yeah, the, the good news, the good news, Borkin, is is we have eliminated the threat of the cops at your You're pie welcome. shop. Um, yeah, pretty much heroes. <laughs> Did you You're I... welcome. You're, you're absolutely welcome. But um, the the <laughs> terrible news is I, I need to tell you that we're not going to find anything of your mother likely but this. And I'm gonna hand him the finger sullenly and say, She's she's passed on. I spoke to her spirit. She says she loves you. And um, she says that 
your crust game is shit and you need to find her secret to the real pie dough in the sugar jar. I whisper to Roger. She said she was going to give me the finger. She was done. I whisper back. <laughs> That's so like her. Um, I, I whisper to Roger. I was like, ooh, this doesn't sound good for your date with Mallory then. <laughs> Oh shit! I, <laughs> I say, "Oh, rub it in, why don't you?" <laughs> thinking, no. thinking better of myself as I pass the as I pass the cloth on, I'm gonna just slightly, like slyly, pocket the finger, <laughs> like, like in front of Borkin, <laughs> like you should. No, show secretly, <laughs> as if as if all that's being given is the cloth, the not the oh, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. Cool. Make a speed check. What um what die is that? The D20. Uh, D20. And you want to roll under your speed. Equal to or under your speed. Equal to or under. Uh I got a five. Yeah. Nice. Cool. You slyly, slyly yeah, tuck it away. <laughs> and you know, Bor- Borkin just kind of like like takes the fabric and is like, did you? And like looks over at like the candles and shit and is like. Thank thank you. Um I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come, come uh, we back, weren't come, able come, to do yeah. anything else for her. It's okay. Just um I don't it seems like you were investigating this anyways. Just um make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else's mom. I pick up then, a, a pie crust from the floor and mom. taste it. Um after I taste it, I'm like, well, if you had any a doubt about perfidia's abilities this crust does taste really bad so we can probably trust what she has to say um, I, are you slipping ahead. me the finger <laughs> um, are you passing me to the disembodied figure of the mother later later oh, okay I'm, i was gonna tap him on the shoulder with <laughs> i'm trying so hard to be sensitive right now <laughs> Better at it than me. And not ghoulish. Okay. Um, <laughs> Borkin Bor- Bor- just kind of turns around and go- starts to go back inside, and it's like, turn turn of us, and you know you're welcome here any any time. Pie on the house. Um, my mom, she thought I didn't know about her 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 secret ingredient. <laughs> What's the secret ingredient? I guess we don't need to know. If it's in the sugar jar, was it just sugar? Well, if, <laughs> I think it was I, written on a piece of paper. If I told if if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret. Yeah, but we're friends. The rat <laughs> whispers to me, and I'm like, "It's literally sugar." <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I tell you that what, would work. I tell you what, you come, you come, you 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 you, you destroy whatever this thing is that got my mom i'll tell you the secret okay deal um do we have any other leads do we have something yeah so so what did you hear perfidia besides that the pie wasn't very good well i'll tell you she didn't see much and apparently it was all teeth and noise and feathers and i don't think that what we're dealing with is human or 100 percent fungal either and um maybe i can use my my tied to wisdom ability to recall any information about magic yeah yeah it seems like a good good time with a will check I have to find my thing now. My adorable Google dice roller. It's a two. I did really good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you're trying to um uh you're trying to see if this image, this like description that 
Gorkin's mom gave you is uh, flashes any bells about anything, anything magical. Yeah, she said it had feathers and not any teeth. And and it made a horrible noise. Um, I think with those, you know, it's like with the if with those clues like verbally described, I don't think it really um brings any like magical like thing to mind as much. Um you do recall though about some um now like now now that you've heard about the that it's a creature um and it's a vague description um and you start to think about the goo that's on the ground um you f- find yourself remembering that the the part of it that uh does not seem like fungus seems like this this kind of like strange magic residue it's it it's it's not anything ethereal but it it feels like something else. That was very vague. Sorry, I'm trying to give you something. Like something demonic? It doesn't seem hermetic or tied to the ether, but it seems magical. That means the rot. It means demons. Ooh. I just said demonic. I know. I was I was agreeing with you. I just know so, about fungus. Yeah. Hey. And I like re- remember that my character can get high at any point by reaching into her bag. And I get very slightly high off of some weird mushroom. Just a little microdose. Just just uh just feel the vibes. And then I offer some to Roger. I was like, no, no, no. I've got I've got kids to think about. And then I gestured to all my rats. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is funny because uh 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 the way that rat kings c- like commune with their rats is by eating yeah your your house. House. yeah i don't yeah. like to talk to my kids <laughs> i don't want to know what's on their minds <laughs> no no thanks i have kids <laughs> yeah <laughs> hell yeah Uh, okay so now we need to find out um if anybody has any connections that can find us information about anyone around here who might have been summoning demons illicitly oh yeah um sounds kind of gay we could go to that bar mallory went to yeah do i know anything about like the i don't remember the name of it in the game even though it's literally my job uh the like Gettysis lodge do I like know anything about that or is it too secretive for Grimora? Um roll a roll a knowledge check. Yeah, maybe. Do, do, do. Yeah, strings attached success. Roll the 20. <laughs> they all hate me, but I know where it is. <laughs> y- yes, that we're gonna roll with that. Hey, you know, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> you know where you know about this get assist hangout, you know. It's not advertised mm-hmm. as that cuz the get assists are pretty pretty underground. Um, There's probably 5 of them in the city yes. and they're all being hunted all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um but yeah, you like uh you <laughs> you did one of them wrong once, like a uh, patchwork and job gone bad. Yeah, uh, and then I wasn't sorry. Yeah. Told them no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. but yeah you know her where face you... is really badly scarred it's fine yeah <laughs> i've written a poem about everyone in that bar and none of them <laughs> want to see me ever again <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it's this it's this little it's this little lounge um uh called I'm not making this up on the spot. It's definitely in my notes. Um, uh, the Rusty Grimoire. I really good at hiding. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sick. All right. Uh, so um, Roger and I used to hang out at this bar. Um, oh, yeah. And I still hang out at this bar. 
Yeah, the Rusty Grimoire. Mm. They're actually all Gettysis. They summon demons. Um, it's like kind of a kink, I think. But the the problem is, yeah. I mean, you probably noticed Turnivus why I haven't been showing up at her much anymore. I well, see, know. I wouldn't say that the issue is the demons. I would just say that it's like the emotional detachment from like connecting with right. people around them, or that's been my personal experience with people at that particular bar. Yeah, like there was no no one thought about uh, me after I, um, I mean, whatever you know things happen. It's, I mean, it's all demons, demons, demons. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I would say I hang out outside that bar. <laughs> I wouldn't that's say I feel most welcome bars. in it. That's, yeah. that's every bar in town for you. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's I lacrosse just, punk's life. I just have a lot of feelings. And rats. Speaking of disfigurement, <laughs> I say, and I hand you the finger. Oh, sick. Thanks. I kind of feel guilty about it now. All this talk about emotions. Well, you know. But I really appreciate you. I'm just thinking word. about your needs, right? Everybody is every little bit helps, and bodies are uh bodies are in short supply these days. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah I pocket the finger in case we need it. And then I, I mentally remind myself that if none of us need it by the end of maybe tomorrow, I'll return it to bar. Or at least you should put it on ice. ice. Oh yeah. I could use a six finger. I mean Ooh, oh, that'd be that fun. fun. Tomorrow's generous. <laughs> um, so do you all head over to the uh the rusty grimoire? Hell yeah. yeah. Cool. It is it's over on it's over in Old Town, like right on the edge of Old Town, kind of like on the other side of the plaza from where y'all are right now. Um are there consequences for murdering a bunch of Oh cops? yeah, we should <laughs> we should throw them in the river. You, I forgot. Um, so, like, uh, assume there wasn't. <laughs> so, I mean, don't you think we could have them brought back to your place? Because, like, waste not, want not. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll throw their clothes in the river, um, and their armor because it looks useless now. And then on the way back, we Doesn't will. That full sword. I think all their stuff got destroyed. Um, oh, when, just yeah. their just their armor and one oh. of the man catchers, but there oh. is a there is a very fine looking sword and um fine. and some reasonable yeah, looking top. skin and yeah. some reasonable looking skin. All right. Well, <clears throat> problem is I kind of blew my reputation with the revolutionists in order to do this. Yeah, I can't believe you did that. It didn't work <laughs> out. I thought it was gonna um, be great. You see, uh, you see some like people kind of p- poking their heads out, and you know, like, like of the of their like shops and like like apartments and stuff, and like this is this is the part of the South Penumbra that is pretty firmly controlled by the revolutionists, um, and you see them all kind of like looking around, and they're like, you you see some of the eyes focusing on focusing on you, Grimora, and um, and then you see Charlie try the skip trying to hide behind a barrel, mm-hmm. um. And looking like really hard not to be seen. I hold up a disembodied arm and I wave at the onlookers. <laughs> um. All right. I'm like, hey, do any of us want the sword? Okay. If no one wants the sword, sword, we'll just be like, hey, everyone, there's some free cop stuff over here if you need it. Uh, If anyone has time, if you could deliver it, the bodies to to my place i'm busy saving everyone from a demon so i don't have time to clean up my mess i'll come back later and clean it up in the morning if no one gets to it, i swear we'd really appreciate it thank you yeah thank you love you throw them in the river i was like i gotta have the rats do it but they hate the smell of cops so <laughs> beautiful all right um, Onward. So, okay, now ha- we're going to the bar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You had a cross. You like, ride very slowly to keep up with us I walkers. Just, ugh, I just walk with my bike. <laughs> <laughs> you ride across town to um or walk across town to um the uh rusty grimoire. And it's you know, it's it's exact it looks exactly how it would sound. Like it's like very like like uh it looks like you know old in the in every pretentious and fancy way that it could. Um, which is makes sense because it's an old town, but it looks like a little bit extra fancy, you know. And 
um there's just like a there's like a the sign is just like a book um and a fancy looking beverage um and you can hear people you can hear people kind of carousing inside a little bit or maybe carousing is the wrong word but um uh you hear some glasses clinking they're listening to Bauhaus and <laughs> I notice a, a sign that appears to be recently edited that says no shirt no shoes no small mammals and <laughs> I'm like well I wonder who that's about and I take a step back I'm like Do Roger have a shirt or shoes either <laughs> <laughs> no they're all <laughs> recent edits <laughs> uh, well, who's going in I'm not I mean, first but I will go I'm, in I'll go in um, what the crowd of this bar we said it's mostly what those demons summoning people so yeah, those people are like so rare and illegal this is like the okay. occultists are illegal by one faction standards. Uh huh. The Gettysis, everyone is like, don't bring demons into this world. What the fuck mm -hmm. is wrong with you? So it's mm -hmm. like, probably this bar is like, it's it's probably like like a goth. I mean, please cur tell yeah. me I'm wrong yeah, if this yeah. is wrong, but like, I assume it's going to be like like a goth bar where it's like there's secretly some vampires there, but everyone else is like dressed up like they're <laughs> vampires. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. They're all like. Oh, we're like spooky demon people, but like there's probably about five total in the city who are actually spooky demon people who, if they get found, will get murdered by anyone, including the people who pretend like they like them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I assume Mallory was here because um, there's really good ketamine that someone deals out of this bar, <laughs> um, logically, which is why I come to this bar sometimes. So yeah. um, I'm just going to go try it's and called find the quiet a horse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh see if we can uh get some ketamine i mean find out what happened to mallory cool, cool. do so you want you're... some i've got the fungal version in my pocket <laughs> you want some i mean yeah, yeah yeah but like not right now okay i'm on a break okay <laughs> cool <sighs> um so turn just you just you going in or are you going in but behind grimora yeah and and I'm going in. in first. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, and it's it's worth noting that um, you can none of you, none cloak, of you have that. positive reputation with the get assists. But yeah. do we? But have none of well, you that's are. okay because we're just having a fun, spooky time. You know, pretending we're just we're just pretending we're just like ooh ooh I like demons. <laughs> yeah. But none of you are also. I don't believe any of you have like negative reputation. So it's it's kind of like a neutral, skeptical situation. Yeah. Except for Grimora and Roger, who have outed themselves as having negative one reputation with <laughs> these guys. And I and I shouldn't have blown my suddenly get <laughs> reputation with someone's skill on the goddamn cops. But it would have been worth it if I had succeeded at one of those roles. But like, you didn't get more reputation back for killing them in front of. I guess I killed them in front of everybody. So, <laughs> group at no, you did it. Net positive for Turnivus. <laughs> yeah, Tur Turnivus the hero. You're lucky a skip saw that. Turnivus yeah. the, the talk of the town soon. Oh, Turnivus no. is always the talk of the town. <laughs> well, Nobody um, likes the creepy healer. <laughs> You go into the rusty grimoire, and it is exactly how um, Grimora uh, suggested it might be, which is a lot of people in very, like, um, like, if Victorian era, like, fashion were a thing in this world, it would be, like, the equivalent of Victorian era fashion. Um, and go ahead. Keep going. I was going to keep describing. Yeah. And there's um there's a few people sitting at the bar. It's kind of nice. It's like you know, it's like that. Like everything's dingy, but in like a really nice way, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's a few people there. They have a fire going, even though like it is absolutely oh, yeah. unseasonal for there to be a fire. Um, <laughs> did did Roger was that Roger able to come in under a cloak just out of? 
Oh yeah, Roger, were you trying to come in under a cloak? Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing a cloak, but I'm not thrilled about it. I'm just like, they don't understand what I add to the vibe. Like I'm really, I want to fit in here. I've been trying to fit in here. Yeah. So I'm going to follow the group. Cool, cool. Um, you, yeah, you, you go in and um, make it, I think that the, we're, we're going to call it a wheel check. Make a wheel check. Okay. With, with a die of advantage, we'll say. Everybody Wait, which one is that? So uh, D20. Roll two D20s. D20. And okay. whichever one is lowest, take that one. Okay. I got a 13 and a 2. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you successfully put on the air of being not covered in rats. <laughs> I had them flip <laughs> over. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Just in your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the bar the bartender kind of like looks at y'all like a little like skeptically in that like y'all are not dressed for the correct bar like sort of way you know but not like angrily. I think Perfidia probably is Perfidia yeah. is probably yeah. dressed yeah looks at you Perfidia and then looks at your like friends and is like like centers on you and is like um yes welcome to the rusty grimoire um what how may I serve you this evening. I link my arm through Perfidia's and I'm just like, I'm with her. <laughs> yes. I link my arm yes. with Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> and then scowl at the ground. Um, like kind of looks at you and is like, yes, well. Um, and then back to you, Perfidia. Um, what 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 may I what what may I get prepared for you? The round of absinthe food. for all of my friends. Ooh. Ooh. That would be something. Um, I whispered to the rats, that means you guys too. Yeah, will they even serve us if we don't have any positive reputation? Yeah, I guess that's the thing. Um, Perfidia, uh, like, uh, the bartender is kind of like, this really does enter a strange, a strange piece. Um, and okay. I, would I would like, like to. What, what would, would you? Like what would use... you like to? <laughs> what would? And um, how will you be um, trading for this substance? Um, do we? We do we know you here? I'd like to use my ability, fucking creepy, during a moment or calm of calm or tension. Uh, an occultist can intimidate someone with an additional advantage die on will check. Okay. I was like, I don't know how this is going to help you, but maybe. I, I could see yeah. it being like, a yeah. just like it's like mm -hmm. doming. It's just like, totally. you mm -hmm. will know me. Yeah. <laughs> you're in and now you're super in. Yeah. The, the, the bartender's like, do we know you? Okay, I got a 19 and an 8, so one of those checks, yeah? Yes, yes, the the 8, the 8. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Um, so what do you say? Yes, you, you will okay. know me, and if you're lucky by the end of the night, if you're kind to me and my friends, I won't fucking destroy you. <laughs> um, do you wear any, like, um, do you wear any, like, symbols of your like um of like your order or like your ties to magic like what yes i'm i'm covered in them i also have a séance <laughs> kit with daggers and tarot cards and all kinds of things so okay, uh, cool. you know and and also also the it, because of because of my ability to curse people right that that has a, a physical effect on my body isn't that true I don't remember. Oh, I, I I don't think is so. Is that still written into the game? I don't. There remember. used to be the thing where, like, so Geddes is, you can tell them because they have dark sunglasses on because they're yeah. while they have an active demon summoned, their like eyes glow with fire. I think last time you were Perfidia, I think you were a Geddesist. No, I think I had. I I think the occultist, whenever they cursed someone, they have like uh, a physical maybe? a toll on their body. Wasn't that a thing? Oh yeah, so that's to, like, a little... cut yourself. 
yeah, that's a little different. Like occultists are famous for like they have to draw blood sometimes or sometimes they just look really tired or their skin turns black um, or like discolored from whatever their normal skin color is. Um, and um, so, yeah, there, there's usually like signs of, of a cult like a physical toll that it takes but yeah what Mar- so i was what thinking it- i can i can show them my hands that look like very glowing and scarred and fucking sick and threatening okay cool yeah and uh you see the bartender is like kind of like flush and is like you know and kind of like a, a they feel like flattered sort of way and um <laughs> uh the bartender is like oh yes um madame mister my garden supplies 90 percent of the apothecaries of poisons and spirits so you wouldn't even have the absinthe that you are serving to these people without my herbs yes um, i'm gonna stare at him threateningly (laughs) and you may address me as mistress Oh, miss, miss, mistress, my, my mistress. May I'm not sure I... you could afford it. <laughs> I lean over to Grimora and I'm like, I don't even know if she's telling the truth or not. I don't either. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, <laughs> I tell, I, I will tell you what my, my mistress, um, if you sh- show me some, vestige of your uh craft and i will give you all the absinthe that you desire it's just like well i know i pulled death but that doesn't mean that you're going to die it's just really about a change in how have you been feeling lately like do you feel like this is a good turn anyway <laughs> <laughs> It's completely ignoring you. It's like eyes deadlocked on. Oh, this wasn't in character. This was like, I was just imagining using tarot to impress the bartender. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna gonna discreetly motion to Grimora to to slip me something from her stash. Oh, yeah, okay. I hand you um, fungal horse tranquilizer. And offer the bartender a vial of fungal horse tranquilizer i gesture to perfidia to see if maybe she would also like a rat that would be helpful keep keep the rats down keep gesturing rats (laughs) okay rats under the cloak wanted to feel like something larger than myself never mind mistress what what will this what will this um potion do to me are you a horse? Think things you couldn't even <laughs> dream of. <laughs> oh, you into a horse? <laughs> just like, like rips it open and just like. <laughs> and now oh, that <laughs> oh. person is, and now they are fucking high. Yeah. Just like fucking, in, you see fucking their high, eyes, like and gla- thoroughly simping. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This was not a great we move need- if we were trying to question this guy because now he doesn't even know his own name. So I think we need to move on. <laughs> but he knows everybody. This is just to get a drink. Here. This is just literally <laughs> to get a drink. <laughs> oh, oh, are we trying to do something here? <laughs> oh, things to do. <laughs> yes. Here, here's your drinks. Um, what? And just like, like starts pouring absinthe, and it's just like flowing. Over. There's absinthe all over the bar. It's just like spilling it everywhere. <laughs> Holding the holding the sugar cube and like on his fingers, like one on each finger. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, was there anything else that brought you into my um fine um establishment? Can I can I look around and see if anyone's wearing sunglasses in here, or yeah. is that like the thing where all of them do it as if they like could be, uh-huh. like maybe. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think I think yeah we're we're obvi- obviously I wouldn't be so gauche but my friends here from out of town they want to know mm-hmm. who here is the real deal if you know what I mean. Oh. I lean I lean into the bartender and I'm like, 
Mallory's brought up someone named Roger, I'm sure. <laughs> Roger, that sounds familiar. Like I'm a sure of... it does. <laughs> There's a daguerreotype of you on the wall. It's like, do not serve the Rat Kings. <laughs> um, the real deal, you say. Well, I, uh, I certainly tell people I'm the r- real deal. Be, be, because I am. Um, and uh, you, you, you start to see um the people, the other people in the bar, kind of like looking a little uncomfortable, and um. Uh, and they st- like two these two people start whispering, and they they, they both have sunglasses on. <laughs> and, yeah, of course they fucking do. Yeah. And right. um, the bartender looks over at the one on the on the right who has these like silver rimmed uh, sunglasses, and is like, "That one, <laughs> that one oh. pretends that they are real." They're all posers, I'm sure. I say we've officially destroyed the the vibe. Um, and then you Clearly see the person, no one here the person next to Ugh. the next to the one that was just pointed at, um, start to like look really uncomfortable. And I'm just gonna oh, I'm shit. gonna loudly declare everyone in this room to be a bunch of posers, and I'm gonna take our drinks and go into a booth in the corner and sulk. But I'm gonna go up to the one next to the one, and sit down. Cool. Um, the bartender's like her. <laughs> the bartender's like, of course, my mistress, people. Eduardio is at your service. Anything you want, like go fuck yourself, Eduardio. I, I sit next to the person. I'm like, how can you stand being around all these people every night? I pull up to the bartender, and I'm like. I can tell from your vibe that you're an artist too. <laughs> oh yes. Would you like to see my my art? Oh, would I? Oh my god. Yes. Do I... you like poetry? Only if it's long. Oh, I I I've been trying to put poetry into my paintings, which I do in Blood. Yeah, of course you and do. And you blood. can do that. And you can do that. And no one ever talks about that. No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> I tell you, I found a weird bit of poetry here a while ago. It was it looked like it was scrawled with the tiniest hands that I've ever seen. Sounds good. It was, and I I put it in my masterpiece. I look at one of my rats and I look at the size of their hands and say, <laughs> how small are we talking? Tiny. Like they were clutching a hair. <laughs> and I um, quietly scold my rat to say, stay in your lane. I'm the artist, not you. <laughs> um, Grimora, we'll jump back over to you. You um, uh <laughs> Yeah. What do you say to the um I, I say how can you stand to be around these people every night? Well, you're you're right. I really can't. Um um I I think I I I must be leaving now. This um r- this company has turned a little garish for me. Oh, that makes sense. I just um the look, don't you think that it negatively affects like we have not come in here for you in any negative way, right? But with a demon on the loose killing people in town, I feel like there's going to be a lot more attention coming in to this bar. And so we're just trying to take care of that problem before it reaches. I mean, look at me. Like no one likes me. I'm an outsider to every circle, right? I'm not they, like here push to... up their sunglasses that were slipping. Yeah. Do I catch any like light? Make a make a will check. Okay. Um. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. I succeed. I get three. Yeah, you see a yeah faint orange glow yeah. behind the glasses. And I'm like, and I don't know that much about. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna intentionally say some wrong stuff here, because my character doesn't really know the ins and out of the Gettysus, right? Mm-hmm. Um. 
I'll be like, I I assume uh, a weaker person than you lost control and was killed, right? Have, have any of you all gone missing or anything like that? Um, because there is a demon that is killing people and we can't be the only people who are looking into it. And so really, if we can get that solved quietly as soon as possible, it seems like it's better for the supply chain of bodies, for people in my line of work, for your ability to not be hunted to death like people are trying to anyway. It just seems like kind of good for everyone. Uh, make make a make a will check with a die of advantage. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, five. I succeed. Cool. Now I'm finally fucking rolling decent dice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, this, okay. this character is not made for combat. <laughs> <laughs> um. The uh. The uh the the person that you're, um, talking mm. to, um. Uh, kind of like winces and like like grabs their side, and like they put their hand in like uh, their jacket for a second. I'm like, do you need anything healed? I, I'm good at that. I I shout how do, how many fingers does he have? <laughs> There's uh, ten ten fingers ten fingers. We got an extra one. Uh, it's um, something else. What? What can? How can I trust you? Uh, I mean, like, you could probably successfully kill me. I'm really not very good at fighting. I think I'm really good at fighting, <laughs> but like, honestly, it's not where my skills lie. So why are why do you care? Well, there's a couple reasons. One, I mentioned the supply chain problem, right? When people go missing, they turn up in the water and I can use them to heal people. I'm a healer. I care about people. Uh especially dead people. I mean, I'm especially helping the living people. And so there's that, right? But also uh I guess in like the abstract, like really abstract we're talking here. I kind of care about the ability of people to not get eaten um, when they walk down the street. And so, like, like for example, right, some people get eaten by demons in the city is a thing. that Everyone knows it happens, right? But it's always, like, someone who had it coming because they pissed off someone who wears sunglasses at night so they can, so they can. I can't remember the rest of that uh, song that the bards sing. And, and so, but now that there's, like, one roaming around killing people... It's like, it could be like random people. Like, like, where's the best pie in the city? Oh, pie, 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 my darling. No hands, no hands down. Yeah, and actually now there's just only nine fingers of that hand. Actually, no, that's a terrible pun. Um, the woman who made that died got eaten by a uh, owl bear. I'm saying things that, again, I know are wrong. Mm -hmm. Margaret knows are wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I think so does <laughs> Grimora. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like got eaten by a thing that doesn't really make any sense, right? Like, you know, like a little acid thing where it like almost looks fungal, but then you like touch it and it like burns, you know, like all that stuff, right? And so um I I just think that like in order to continue to eat good pie, right? Uh we need fewer pie makers to get eaten, and instead more people who like to fuck with Gettysis to get eaten. Mm. They pull their hand out of their jacket and um, Fuck. it is covered in blood. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought it was to get shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do see a the little like handle of a handgun. Yeah, that's fine. That it. was like right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, depending on what I said next. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> didn't tell him he could kill me. <laughs> really led with my strengths. I lost control of it. Oh shit! Whoa! That was fast. I. I'm sorry. The old lady got 
God, I love that pie shop. You know, and the, the, you know, the kid's like, he's he's getting there. He doesn't know. He doesn't add enough sugar to the pie crust. That's, That's what I'm not. I'm not going back to pie another day. <laughs> no, their ter- their their fillings are horrible. They have no creativity. You can't even get a vegetarian pie. Or a horse bear pie. Wait, what was the one that Roger? I like looked to Roger. I'm like, what did you get? It was, uh, it was beef horse, and it sucked. Yeah, <laughs> but it'll get better. And and so okay, so we have two problems, right? You have a problem where you seem to be bleeding out. That might be an even more immediate problem. I'll say oh. you suck at summoning demons. That's a problem. I summoned the most powerful demon that one could summon. Oh, oh show well, that... me one. I'm not. I'm wonderful at my job. Clearly yeah, like not. Part of, part okay. of the job. Okay. Yeah. One could say I was too successful. <laughs> like a string is attached. <laughs> my my dude, my my dude, my Jack Skellington. You are you are not gonna fail upwards out of this. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to die, and no one else has to know. Looks around to the there's Eduardo is like just like like high out of out of his fucking mind at the bar and there's like yeah. the person sitting next to next to them Look, and they're like everyone here fakes he knows just looking at Eduardo and I'm like like first of all shut up second of all just keep everybody happy for the rest of the night while we talk to this guy yeah <laughs> oh absolute anything for my mistress rounds on the house I'm it sifting through pouring absinthe all over the bar. I'm <laughs> sifting through some receipt paper that Eduardo has uh, showed me with a bunch of stuff scrawled on it, and I'm like, you know what? They're pretty good. <laughs> oh shit, that's yeah, different than I would expect. Receipt poetry, baby. It really speaks to me. Excuse, excuse me, young um thing. Do you know the the providence of 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 those words? Is Edward well, talking to you, Roger? And and I, I'm not used to being spoken to intentionally. And so I'm like, what? Me? What? No. You, I don't know. What? You're you you're you're looking at those receipt papers with the mysterious poetry on them, like I saw a breath of familiarity. To wash across your face yes do you yeah. know where they came from i mean clearly a genius's mind but a genius of... yeah i would love to meet such a genius really yes oh okay well wait do we know whose poetry it is is it mine um, you recognize the familiar scrawls of um of of like when your rats write write things. Oh, rat yeah. Poetry. Okay, okay. It's it's rat poetry. I'm like, oh, so sorry. You see, for, for anyone who had not put this together, it's uh, rat poetry. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, just a second. Uh, I I can start with some of the rats and I come back, and I'm like, yeah, these are actually um. These are rough drafts, you know? I mean, I think you're seeing, like, I don't really, I, it, it's, it feels a little heady. Does it not feel a little heady to you? It feels a little heady to me. You're nagging your rats. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like you should say that snow is, you know, white as snow. And when they start, you know, they're just, they, they come in heavy on the adjectives and it just feels like a lot. I had to but... pair some of it down. I agree. It's a taste thing, and I totally understand. And I think, like, maybe if you read more, you would maybe understand where I'm coming from. It it was you. What? You. Oh, you are the oh. the author of this marvelous verse. I'm so sorry. I'm just like not used to talking to people like this. Yes, it was me. Oh. Please come back. It seems like you're off to do something, but yeah, no, it's okay. I'm sorry for saying that. I'm just so hard on myself sometimes because I'm such a genius, and that's what we're like. 
Oh, yes, please. Um, um, come back anytime. I'm going to write. Sometimes I'm not here. And looks at the rats and there's strictures against those creatures. But I don't know what you could mean. And then I put my arms over myself to conceal my rat. But here is a pass. <laughs> Tell them if anyone you come back, you ask for Eduardo, they will they will send you to my studio and and really please wow yeah no this happens to me all the time so this is regular for me and then i take it wonderful oh that um, was so I... beautiful that was so beautiful you guys but our best lead in this case is bleeding out and we do have a corpse on ice you're Jacket so Tremoris. selfish <laughs> Never mind. Is there is there trouble about my mistress? Roger, look, it's the first number you've ever gotten, and it feels like a big deal right now. But soon you're going to be super famous, and it's this is gonna you're not even going to remember this. So can we like? Get, there's like a demon. Oh, that's okay. awesome! Great, let's get out of here. A demon, you say, Eduardo is like. May may I be of of of, of assistance? Yeah, by keeping everyone who's here. Yeah. Uh, hi. Oh, that would certainly do it i guess yeah all right so we gotta go blood okay what's the name um, of the blood bleedy guy besides bleedy guy number one mcbleedy peterson <laughs> uh, uh the the uh the the get assist um like mm -hmm. kind of reaches up um i'm bayon it's nice to meet you i'm a bayon um uh, i don't hear any dogs uh, okay let's go Woof. <laughs> um eh, eh? It's Ow. good. Yes, let's let, let's go. I um I can I how many hit points does he have? Three. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like no, no, we have we 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 have to go. Um yeah. you're right. Um and then you hear shrieking an inhuman cry, like from somewhere in the distance outside the bar oh it, yeah okay and okay. Ban, ban's like what demon sounds like ba ban like okay, has okay. a like, little like compass that that they brought out and they're like what what i was gonna show you this really cool compass that i have but it maybe maybe we just follow the screams okay let i start yeah, okay can we just run we just run towards <laughs> the screaming <laughs> Yeah. Um. I'll help Bayan along fairly well. I'm like, well, we. I swear, we're gonna get to you, but you've got three out of. I guess I don't know the percent, but like, you got a whole three hit points. Again, this is something that does not convey anything to anyone but patchworkers. I'm like, you got like three <laughs> hit points left. You'll be all right. Just we got to get rid of this thing. Just, then... just put him on the bike. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. No that's, blood on the bike. That's an invite only situation. He does not get to get on the bike. I'm going to go jump on the bike and find the screaming. You all can carry this guy around. Okay. We're Do running. Do you want to carry his the... ass? <laughs> I am probably the weakest person here. Uh, actually, we're probably not a bunch of strength based characters. <laughs> anyway, running after the screaming. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Chasing the screaming. Um, Turnivus, are you are you kind of scouting ahead on your on your bike? Are you leaving everyone or what? What? Um, I'm gonna scout ahead. I mean, I'm assuming we didn't walk out of the bar and immediately see it, so I'm gonna start zooming around trying to find the source of the screaming. Yes. Cool. Um, it the, from just you know the direction that the screeching is coming from. Mm -hmm. Um, it sounds like it is in the direction of back towards the plaza. Okay. I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> You zoom over on your um your dog's wheel, mm -hmm. um, and you zoom back into the plaza, and sure enough, you see this like, uh, you know, twice the size of a bear, like um, oh man, with a head. Yeah, beast just like covered in feathers. Looks like you can see these funny little seams where it looks like if you look really closely, it looks like thousands of uh 
tiny little bodies um, mm-hmm. wow. stitched together and it is covered in feathers. There's this giant beaky face and these like huge looming eyes and then just this like big mask of bone. Um, How on did its anyone face. miss this the past couple nights? I'm wondering. This seems fairly obvious. <laughs> well, it seems like <laughs> no someone one paying attention around here. Is attention it just me? And... <laughs> it's so interesting. It's like maybe a detailed description of this exact creature could have appeared in envelopes at, at everyone's home, and maybe no one read it. <laughs> but it's uh, fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and you see you see people in the plaza and they are everyone is panicked they like everyone's just running around the thing is like chasing people there's like a couple people with with sticks who like are trying to fend it off you see some of the like uh, the theater troupe people they were putting on a a little a little play and um you see some of them have these like very obviously fake wooden swords and they're like like cardboard armor and they're like like trying to like <laughs> they're trying to like distract it so that like Aww. people can like get away Aww. these are, are the, the real the... heroes <laughs> are the cop you know in times like this that? we need stories okay to get us through <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, this is nowhere near the cop bodies. The cop bodies oh. are on the other side of town. Okay. Right. Oh, I thought they were in the plaza. No. Different plaza. Yeah. All right, okay. we're running. Whoa. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm. Do you zoom back or do you stay? No, I go forward and I'm gonna charge it. Oh, fuck. Shit. I think <laughs> oh, we're shit. like. Wait, how far behind are we? Yeah, I don't know. You, you would know. You would know that. I think. Uh huh. And um, we'll say that you're uh. You're like you're like a couple minutes away, like the rest of the group. Uh huh. So that's like, how long is a round in this game? We haven't really declared that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I guess we haven't really declared it. I never really liked the whole like uh six seconds thing in in D and D. So I'm gonna say like I don't know, rounds like thirty seconds. Mm, okay, so you'd be fighting alone for at least six rounds. Okay, I'm just gonna do circles around the plaza yelling at it then. Cool, thanks. Okay, cool. <laughs> thanks for letting me talk you out of that, even though I did kind of the same thing earlier. <laughs> I mean, I would just throw my motorcycle at it again, but I can only do that once per uh, session, so. Yeah. You know, I thought in my head, I was like, I know what y'all are gonna be up against. This is maybe a bad time to use this, but no, it really I... ended that fight quickly. Yeah, so. which probably didn't have to be a fight, but <laughs> yeah. someone. Well, I mean, if it's, it's worth called... it, but not not that it matters. But if if you had just stalled until I woke up, I had a really good plan. Uh, I believe you. It's mm. called reckless for a reason. It's yeah. not because there was a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Um, you ride your dog's wheel around. Um, it in circles are you like taunting it or like what's the what's yeah, the vibe I'm definitely taunting at it um what am i saying i'm saying it really needs to get a manicure its nails look like shit um yeah just saying it smells funny okay. uh saying i don't know yeah cool cool the um the the theater troupe uh folks um they kind of like clamor out of out of the way like once Mm -hmm. you start once you start doing this um and uh but but you know they stick around they like Mm -hmm. put their little cardboard shields up (laughs) and they're like (laughs) looking like they're ready um and then you see the you see the the creature um like rear up out of frustration and it just sprays this like viscous goo just like up into the air up in the air okay um, yeah Ooh. and you really brought out i think it's one of like the two biggest bads that we've ever written for this game <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're fucked it's rules <laughs> it's gonna be great it's gonna be great <laughs> i think we have a chance okay <laughs> if i keep rolling like i did I've, before. <laughs> if i had a nickel for every time i've seen a viscous goo <laughs> we're fine <laughs> cool um the rest of the crew you arrive uh 
later. You were you arrived shortly. And Tur- Turnimus, I'm gonna go ahead and say like you your efforts are noticeable. Like the plaza empties. And like Everyone's everyone kind of empty. retreats back to their houses because there's like row houses all along the sides of the plaza uh-huh. and the like you see people like up in their um up in their houses and um you start to see some muzzles like start to like like lean out the window and mm-hmm. uh, it looks like people are you have went and like grabbed their guns. Um, oh, okay. I thought oh. you meant like dog muzzles. I was like, what? <laughs> no, like, oh, uh, like gun, gun muzzles, gun muzzles. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 yeah. cool great yeah um the rest of the crew you arrive and the the plaza is mostly clear at this point you see the theater troupe with their cardboard weapon and wood weapons like kind of backing turn up and turn is just like doing donuts around this uh, really? giant giant creature and um uh, uh bayon looks a little affronted and is like, oh my god, it was smaller before. Yeah, now it's full of pie. <laughs> well, have you learned your lesson, I say, as I get ready to throw, run towards it close enough to throw vapors. I want to... To get everyone, stronger. Everyone, everyone stay away for a second. I want to throw some bombs at it, all right? Don't, like, go rushing in. I'm trying to I get also- only within throwing distance. So go ahead. I have the ability to make some poison darts, but I think it takes some time. Um, so oh. we're gonna we're gonna say that you already have like th- these are all of those things in your inventory. They're kind of things that you've just always got prepared. So like, yeah. All right. Well, so you, you have your darts, and you should be able to imbue them with, or there there's like a from that list of abilities under Master of Fungus, you can choose one of those abilities to, um, to use. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to think. Okay, ugh, I want I want to survey the audience. I'm not going to split more. So we we've got um, we've got one large enemy. So I would say I would want to use hallucination um, to to paralyze. Well, no. So that what that does is instead the regular actually can cause paralyzation. Oh, okay. I think it's a I probably didn't get written into this, or if it did, it's higher up. Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> this might be this might this might should only apply to humans. This particular blowgun ability. Okay. The the, current, uh... the way it's currently written, if you manage to hit it twice with a dart, mm-hmm. we like win. It goes out of action. Oh, uh-huh. um, could be great for us. Yeah, I suspect that that probably needs to be rewritten to like a human. Okay. Um, hmm. then do I have anything I can do? Well, the blowguns still damage it. Um, sure. And oh, um, you know, we know. are, I think we, I, this came up for me today when I was writing about stuff, and I think we're gonna have to unfortunately get into kind of like, like person monster size category yeah. situation. Makes um, sense. Which I we're I think we're gonna rule for this uh currently. We'll see how it works. If you get six darts in this thing, then okay. it'll, it'll go down. Okay. Do I have six darts worth of yeah, I, I do, right? I have how many um, darts do I have? Ten. Thirty I, I have thirty, 30 darts. darts. Thirty. Thirty darts. Okay, then yeah, I'll I'll, I'll start darting it, darting it up. See see what my uh, range is. Cool. We'll probably run into the same problem with perfidious curses that are very designed for people. Um, so I I have something built into this monster to kind of like oh, make saying. to make that a little bit uh less ridiculous. Okay. Or absolutely biased towards the player, cool. <laughs> rather. <laughs> Or if it's not good to throw darts right now, I could be talked out of it. No, I think, well, it's a blowgun. You're not throwing them. You're... It's my, yeah, I'm, I'm blowing them. Yeah. yeah. I think it's great. I think we should blowing all just throwing. chuck things at it right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you got, one of us, finger. it'll run up and kill. But only one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fast. <laughs> yeah, it'll be one of us who's not you. <laughs> um. So away. since... Since Turnivus kind of has this thing, like, you know, contained to some degree, 
Um, the rest of y'all, I'm going to give y'all kind of like a free round to sort of like position yourselves and make any preparations for getting into the battle with this. I will be, I want to be nearby, but not close. And I want to be next to someone who can also, if it charges, I want to stay near them and fight in melee if it charges someone. So I would probably either Perfidia or Roger stick with them. Yeah, I need to be within within bomb throwing yeah. distance, I think. I think we're all trying to get nearby. Okay. And the question is yeah. whether we're in one little spot or whether we're split up. And I don't know whether it has an area of attack weapon and neither does Remora, so... I mean, you have seen it spray corrosive I know. acid. I know, but I don't know whether that's okay. Okay, I guess we all we should probably all space out and and try and circle it, but I'll be like fifteen twenty feet away, and so we can all throw shit at it without hurting each other, and only one of us gets hit at a time with its acid. That's what I'm calmly explaining as we run towards it, and then think hmm. to myself: the thing where I know hit points says specifically in it person, and I have no idea how many hit points this thing has. Mm. I Fortune. definitely didn't edit that today. Cool. No, it's good. It is <laughs> yeah. better that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm going to be nearby and spread out. Also, I'm concerned about my blow dart radius, but I did grow up playing woodwind instruments, so my lungs are pretty good, and I think <laughs> I could make it that range. Yeah, I think it works up to nearby. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. smoke, so I, it should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, uh, Bayon kind of like follows you, Grimora, and is like, may, "May I fight beside you? I might need someone to lean on." And like takes out like a takes out a sword, like a very fancy looking sword. Yeah, let's fucking do it. <laughs> Wonderful. Can I give him a, a a third leg or something right now if that's what he needs? <laughs> Just like stick it on there. Cane? What? What? Ban? Yeah. Uh, I don't have any bonus canes. Yeah. You his know, he's, he's standing and like you know, Ban puts it. Ban puts like a a hand on your shoulder, like kind of mm-hmm. like like is like, may I lean? Mm-hmm. And Ban has got a like death crushing grip you can like he's not trying to hurt you but you can like feel some strength all right man yeah all right (laughs) and maybe also a little crush yeah Mm -hmm. a little little both ways um uh uh-huh there's some there's some tension happening here yeah (laughs) are we in calm or are we in tension (laughs) (laughs) so yeah it's a moment of sexual tension (laughs) um everyone it's going to scream at some point, and it might stun you. So keep your wits about you. Um, you won't believe the music I'm into. It, it also will s- try to spray that acid on you, and um, if it gets you, it will burn. You could, you'll, you'll have to wipe it off, um, or it'll keep burning you. And um, I think it tastes good, though. It doesn't. It it tastes good to it. And once you are covered in that acid, it will try to eat your flesh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, and that is how it grows. Oh. So if you see oh. someone go down underneath it, get them the fuck out of there <laughs> or they are done for. All right. Got it. Should we well, roll some... Shall we have at it? Have at yeah. me, foul nave birds. That's what they're called. They're called nave birds. That's not true. I'm saving my breath for the darts. <laughs> um, and if anyone wants to know what this, it's it's actually called stolus. Oh, I didn't. You, who'd you steal that. it from? Today I learned <laughs> from hell itself. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, its name is stolus, or there's more than one of it. It it is its. It it is the type of demon that it is. Oh, mm. all right. Roll us some initiative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bayon failed. <laughs> I got a three. I succeeded. Ooh, I failed. I got a seven. All right. 
So three successes. You succeeded, uh, Grimora. Yeah. And I, I succeeded all the dice rolls. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Just on it tonight. Um, right, right, great. Uh, <clears throat> great. Um, Grimora, Perfidia, and Roger, y'all can decide who goes first. Um, Perfidia, you have bombs, right? Yes. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We're all going to just throw shit at it. Bomb sounds good. I fully intend to just throw a bomb at it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. you know, if you've got a problem, you throw a Molotov cocktail at it. <laughs> now you have yeah. a different problem. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, So I believe that is an attack with strength. So roll a strength check to lob a bomb at it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's not where you're a Viking. <laughs> No. Yeah. Um. So there's this funny thing, listeners, where um, uh, we've given every class something that they're pretty good at and something that they carry around, but they're maybe not very good at. <clears throat> My arms are feeble. Did you fail? Your... You failed. I didn't do a very good job. It went like beep beep boop. Ooh, next time you should curse it. Um. So it uh it you lob your bomb and it it kind of it it just misses it explodes and it kind of like like startles it um and yeah you see uh it uh recoil a little but doesn't really seem bothered it doesn't like bombs guys it's, it's no a, okay it's weakness is explosive uh, <laughs> thanks mom <laughs> um perf or roger or grimoria um Laura. All right, I'll go in case. All right. Uh, I'm throwing a potent vapor and I'm using oh fuck. I'm I'm not going to play it safe. I'm going to use the advantage die from it being potent on the damage. Okay, great. What's the what's the rules of vapors again? Something happens if it um if it oh, Yeah, that was what I was hoping for. Yeah. I missed, so it doesn't matter. Um but it would be when I roll 1d4 damage, if it did four, it would have to spend its turn, like, not fighting. Yeah, it gets stunned, I believe. Uh, it takes no action except to flee on their next turn. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But I missed. Cool, 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 cool. Because um, I'm really good right. at dice rolling. Let's you're really, I mean, you're really good at character. Yeah. <laughs> thanks thanks that's what you say to someone who's anyway um, bay and bay and like bay and like gives you a little tap don't worry you'll get it next time not it's not, not true but okay yeah all right <laughs> all right i've got i've got these blow darts so let's see how how it goes and so we we also don't have rules about so the the way that originally we wrote the Rat Kang to fight is that you set the swarm on it the first round, and then that's like just free damage every round after that. Oh. Um, because okay. if you leave it on it, it like just stays there and does damage. You don't have to use an action. We yeah. didn't write any rules to my knowledge about what happens if the rat attack is on it while uh, area of attack, area of effect things like bombs and vapors happen. Oh, um, we kind of we 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 did this thing where we kind of tried to do it and it became a little too complicated. So we're just assuming that rats are really like sick, uh, really tenacious and crafty. Yeah. So the rats the are mean, rats. That's how I've always felt. Yeah. So, okay. so you could set the rats on it and then. OK, I, I would like to set the rats on it. Let's see what the rats do. Should yeah. I roll for the rats? Um. Yeah. Make a make a will check. Um. Okay. To oh. get the rats to put themselves into knowing danger. So I rolled a twenty for for the rats. Ooh. Oh yeah. yeah. So that that's a that's a strings attached um success. So we're gonna say that Ooh. the rats swarm onto it, but they're gonna not do any damage this turn. Um. And they're they... always gonna be a little bit mad at you for having <laughs> asked them to do this. For the it rest of your life, with all its weird, tiny little feather bodies or whatever is going on, I've always they're never they're never quite funny. gonna forget or forgive. 
<laughs> they just seem... And I don't know where they get that from. <laughs> okay, we're all going to live another 30 seconds. <laughs> they they just seem like a little... They seem a little daunted. And they kind of like... Mm. You know, they look like they could use some encouragement. Okay. So well, I'm go. happy to give them encouragement. I mean, not, it's not that it's reciprocal, but I'm happy to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, Every role can... play game is just people working out issues with their parents. <laughs> <laughs> can i blow can i blow a dart at at it too um unfortunately you cannot this turn that's gonna that's gonna eat up your turn but um the rats are there yeah but so the rats being on this um it does have one additional effect which is that anyone attacking the creature now gets to do so with a die of advantage oh god we should get the other order gets to um uh makes defense checks also with a die of advantage as long as it is sworn. wait what gets this advantage now sorry um you get you get a die of advantage on attacks against it and you oh. get a die of advantage on defenses from its attacks oh okay. shit we should have oh, we definitely yeah. should have led with you and then maybe the other yeah. shit would have hit <laughs> <laughs> whoops well oh, look look at who got ignored again and look who's paying the price <laughs> everybody that's this is so it's poetic it's poetic which another thing you wouldn't know the first thing about no just because i never open the envelopes yeah yeah someone admits it you know i admire that at least yeah grimora can admit that she doesn't open the envelopes you can write about your feelings later (laughs) and i will no, none of us get a chance. To open get them. it all out now. <laughs> and I will. No, I think I'll keep it to myself. So die mad, as they say. <laughs> the stolus <laughs> the stolus rears up on its hind legs and um it lets out a deafening roar. And I need everyone to make a will check. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> My will is bad. <laughs> I did it. I did not. Oh, I did. I, I did. I stared into the face of death and I was like, brah. I'm half deaf from all these punk shows. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> did not do yeah. very well. Okay. So um, Grimora and Roger, I'm sensing you failed. Correct. Yeah. We um, so you are stunned for one round. So on your next oh, turn. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Are the rats stunned? Um. Uh, no, no they're everything. Yeah, the rats okay, are not. Just the rats are magic. Good they have rats. narrative. They have narrative armor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so y'all y'all are stunned. Um, and Gr- Grimora, you feel yourself kind of going slack, and Bayon just like like ho- like kind of catches you and holds mm-hmm. you up, and is like, uh, <laughs> ah, tof- <laughs> Um, and uh, I ship it. <laughs> and then the Stolas is going, rears up and is going to uh, pounce on you, uh, Turnivus. Um, so I need you to make a speed check. But with a dive advantage, right? Because of the rats? Yeah, with a dive advantage. Okay. Do, does my speed go up if I'm on my dog's wheel or anything like that? It's just, that's just, it is what it is. Well, you have some kind of weird ability to dodge shit with the dog's wheel, don't you? I don't um, know. I've been looking. Or did that get taken that. out? Um, um, I don't think so. I don't think there's Wait, any should everybody abilities. have rolled twice to see if they failed being stunned also? No. No, no. no. Oh, okay. Um, that's fine. I got it in one. It's cool. Okay, yeah, no, that's an old ability. That's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, I can do. Um, this thing. My, I don't have like ability to avoid stuff, but as a reaction, I can put my dog's wheel in front of me to take damage from the at- attack instead of me. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that right now. Oh yeah. Um. Well. Yeah, you could you could let the dog wheel take it. It's true. Yeah, but it'll explode if it does enough damage. <laughs> it's only maybe. got four hit points. This, this, <laughs> oh maybe. shit! Well, maybe yeah. <laughs> this may be a good thing. Doesn't it have six? Wait, you have, six? Should have oh, six it has, points. 
It has six hit points. You have 12 hit points and two oh. armor points. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, so you're hanging. Okay. You are our tank. <laughs> Here we go. Um, I think I am going to do that. Okay, so it's still a speed check. But am I just doing a speed check to see whether it hits me or not at all? Okay, I don't know. Uh, let me... This can is you not read clearly. the ability? Yeah, can you read it? As a reaction to being attacked, a dog girl can, with a successful speed check, maneuver their dog's wheel in front of them to take damage from the attack instead of them. For attacks that affect the whole area, like a bomb exploding, this ability reduces the damage from the attack by half. And okay. The half is taken by the dog's wheel. So that's not relevant right now, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So you you do still make a speed check, um, which we're gonna say you will have advantage on, and, okay. like still, um, and the speed check determines whether you are able to successfully, like, get it in front of you. But you should also make another speed check with advantage to see if it hits it. That's what I meant. In which case, you'd probably yeah. only get advantage on one of them, not both of them. Yeah, yeah. We'll do advantage on whether it hits it and regular on whether you successfully navigate. This is like an if you're hit thing. It's not okay, a- right. yeah. Okay, so yeah, okay. this is, I'm rolling with advantage to see if I'm hit and then yeah. I'll do the other roll. Exactly. Okay, just check. Yay, beta testing in front of an audience. Yeah, <laughs> like, sorry for all the meta combat gaming. When um, you think your language is clear, but it's not. <laughs> I rolled a four and a 16. Okay, yeah, so it just misses. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to <figure> out. <laughs> Just misses. The rats save the fucking day. Rats save uh -huh. the day. Oh, to yeah, thanks, rats. You know, sometime we'll go over my one of my favorite uh, comic book movies. Um, uh, but moving on. Um, let's see. So it it misses you. Um, I'm so slick. And then it is going to. It rears up with its. It like rears up with its beak. And it uh, lunges at you with its beak. And I need you to make a strength check. Why is it attacking me so many times? <laughs> Doesn't it have limited things to do? Sorry, my strength. Strength. Uh, I pass. I rolled a two. And I, my strength is nine. Hell yeah. Cool. Yeah, it beaks you and you, it did, you, you. Or, or, there's no pun here there's i just no put i just put yeah. what i do is i just like lean in with my head which is clearly very thick uh -huh. um <laughs> cool uh cool so that is that is the stolas's turn um and uh next it's it's uh turn of us you could go or or bayon looks very eager to go too i want to go cool um i want to use Swift hands, which lets me perform a normally standard action as a free action to throw a bomb. Um, cool. And then I'm going to charge it with my lance. So, cool. okay. I think if you are close, isn't it? So if you throw it while you are close, it will also damage you. It's true. And, and moving, the dog's wheel. Moving is a standard action, I'm guessing. Uh, no, moving is just movement, and on your dog's wheel, you have the most movement. Like, you could zoom around the block and still hit it. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, so I'm, like, gonna, like, zoom far enough away from it to, one, like, be cool. nearby to throw a bomb, um, and then also be, like, far enough away to, like, get momentum when I charge it. Cool. So I, I zoom around behind it. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, and bomb is a strength check, which I uh, have a nine, and I got a nine. Cool. Succeed. Succeed. Yeah, you hit it. Um, so roll some damage. And uh, listeners, um, so there's some turn order stuff here that is pretty specific to dog girls, which is that most other people could not move and then, like, decide they're going to attack and move again. And, like, like the, the, the way that uh, turn of us's movement is broken up is sort of something only dog girls can do <laughs> dog wheel. Yeah. just dog girl things dog girl just things girl things <laughs> um three damage okay cool is that our first damage that's your first damage. no uh yes that's your first damage on it it yeah shrieks again 
I but guess. in a bad way like we in a yeah, I mean, it's not dead, you know, you gotta keep it, it. We don't all have to roll dice. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Like again? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> We'd be so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay. Um. Okay, and then going to attack, Uh. zooming towards it with my lance. So this is also going to put me close to it Yeah. by the end yeah. of my turn. Yeah. Um, okay, and because I'm riding my dog's wheel, I'm attacking with speed instead of strength. What other special things do I need to know about this? I think that's all. I think you I think can only do it one-handed is the only other thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you don't get the extra plus one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I mounted room. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, and I got a two, so I also pass with that. Beautiful. And that's yeah. a one. 1d8 and that's also a three beautiful you pierce it and it you know it shrieks again but not in the not in the way that affects you (laughs) it shrieks and you feel nothing (laughs) (laughs) um cool i believe that's probably all you can do turn of us but is that the end of your turn no i i I, I, i'm assuming that's all i can do that felt like a lot lot. yeah 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 (laughs) Dog dog girls are awesome um, That's true. Uh, Bayan, um, like still holding on to you, Grimora, um, takes this very fancy looking sword and just like starts waving it around and then sticks it like stabs at the air. Okay. And um, you see this little like it the blade has disappeared into the air and just slices down. And you see this like, like horrific energy just blast out of the hole at the demon, this fiery energy. Wow. Sick. Did the cop sword do that? Should we have taken that cop sword? (laughs) (laughs) All swords in this game cast fireballs. (laughs) Yeah. And it just, it just, it just blasts into the, into the, into the stolas um and you see like a lot of the feathers get singed um and then um uh bayan kind of looks down at his like like bloody hand and just digs in deeper and like holds the the uh fiery gateway open and you can see this little eye of fire floating in the air <laughs> this kid's gonna die <laughs> <laughs> um and then it's gonna be grimora perfidia and roger y'all's turns i'm gonna do nothing oh because you're stunned That's yeah roger. <laughs> yeah i was like i Roger's don't think i can do stunned. anything no, yeah. just bored i would now. love yeah. to blow one of these darts but it doesn't feel in the cards for me yeah but your rats do one damage to it it's true. The rats do do one damage. That's to it. my legacy. Yeah. <laughs> Better. Than, I have done no damage to anyone, and I've probably <laughs> taken the most attacks. <laughs> um, Perfidia, it is your turn. Yeah, not to be passive aggressive or anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really being a team player right now. <laughs> I can't um, defend myself. <laughs> No, because you're stunned. Yeah. This creature's stunning. Yeah, you're just absolutely powerless before my uh, passive aggression. <laughs> uh, what do you I got for video? I want to use a battle curse. Cool. It's going to cost me one hit point of damage. Wow. Right? Yes. <laughs> and... I have to roll with my will. Yes. Okay. I'm going to to muster up all of my energy and use my big powerful witch voice and say, I hope you fart in front of your boss. And I rolled a one. Excessive success. Um, So normally on a battle curse, it doesn't do any damage. Um, It just kind of affects its uh, uh, situation. 
Um, so I actually, I forgot that one of the things that I have for this too, since it is this magical large giant creature was usually you'd have to roll with disadvantage in order to kind of like mentally control it. Um, but since you rolled an excessive success and I forgot about that, um, we're going to say that the excessive <laughs> success is it just works. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so roll oh. a 1d4 and that will determine... So Ooh, um, you rewrote this. You rewrote the text of how this curse works before this combat. You did really well. Sorry. Oh wait, did I? <laughs> what did I rewrite? You wrote on every one of its turns. Oh, maybe that was always in it. Okay. Anyway, never mind. On, please continue. So roll a roll a d four. Yeah, and that's gonna. So listeners, with the battle curse, um, Perfidia will roll one d four, and while maintaining this curse, and um, then. On every one of their turns, uh, the occultist rolls 1d4 to determine how the curse affects the target. On a 1 to 2, the target acts normally. On a 3, it takes no actions. And on a 4, it does something detrimental to its own side. Okay. So. I rolled a 3, so it is oh, yeah. you stun that immobilized. It, it is immobilized. farted in front of its boss, and it is <laughs> paralyzed with shame. It is. Its boss is... Uh, ban yeah, who's yeah to exactly yeah and so so this actually all worked out really well for me and you're welcome yeah yeah um and then after after uh you see it just kind of like stop moving for a second and then you hear the uh like the crack and report of like a lot of guns going off at once and um, I want one person to roll a d20. Not me. I'll uh, do it. Oh, no, go, go. Oh, go. wait. No, B, you do go, it. Go, Roger, go. Are you sure? This is your moment. Okay. I'll do it. <laughs> I rolled a 20. Whoa, really? Yes. Fuck yeah. Sh- yeah. Much oh, damage yeah. I guess I can't show you if it's there. <laughs> yeah, you see a lot of bullets hit it yes. and like you look around and there's just people shooting down at it from the plaza like <sighs> row houses <laughs> and you look over and you see you see fane like like standing like on one of the porches with like a, a handgun yeah. hi buddy oh, okay. hit it now while it's paralyzed the shame <laughs> um and so then it's gonna be turn of us it's gonna be your turn Already? You almost yeah. pretty big, dude. It's stunned, so it's <laughs> it's stunned. I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, um. Oh, well, does my hit point of damage come from my hit points or my armor points? I guess probably it actually comes right out of my hit points, right? Yeah, right out of your hit points. Um. Right. So, listeners, we, this hasn't really come up yet, but um, when someone takes damage, they um their armor points uh, get affected first. And so it's like, if if someone has two armor points, then those armor points get depleted before their health points get depleted, unless it's an ability that circumvents it. For instance, Roger's rats would circumvent armor. Um, Turnivus, what are you gonna do? Um, well, I think it's cool that everybody is shooting and I really love just doing whatever everyone else is doing. So I'm gonna shoot it with my handgun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna zoom because I think I was close to it. Get out of the way of mm-hmm. the bullets, and then um, point and shoot. Well, cool. uh, make a speed oh, check. And I fail. So cool. um, darn. That's was it fine. a strings attached? Um, it's only no. a 20 no, Twenty. yeah okay yeah i was okay. like what is that again no it was a 19 yeah, so real okay. close but not quite yeah. cool 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 <laughs> uh <laughs> no it's true that's true uh you got anything else turn to this no that's all i shoot it into the air and said i get too excited and i just i'm like woo <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> um bayon digs that sword deeper into this fiery hole can i describe what mechanically is happening yeah yeah yeah. this is called summon inferno or channel inferno or something and it it's this ability that like every player who's played this is not currently a playable class every player who's played this is like how the fuck do you do this safely and the answer is you don't 
which is that every turn you hold open a portal to the inferno it just gets like more and more wildly out of control and you get like more and more disadvantaged dice and like if you do it long enough you can blow up the entire city oh <laughs> oh um, that's for a rat <laughs> but bayon bayon like digs in and you can see bayon sweating yeah. and like sword kind of like quiver and then this doubly large blast just erupts out of the eye and shoots into the stolas every every turn it does like like not just like an extra damage die more damage like like it escalates logarithmically or whatever but it also gets i was i was more like and more so, so sad dice. Yeah. that i didn't get to do this i think <laughs> the one time that we had the get assist and i did the yeah. get assist Ugh, I don't think we even got into a fight. I think we just like started a band. <laughs> yeah, we started yeah. a band. Yeah. I think that was the last time I tried to run a version of this adventure, which is why I'm reusing it now. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Yeah, cool. Um yeah. Uh doop doo. Uh, Grimora, Perfidia, and Roger. I always say Grimora with an air of, like, am I saying this name right? Oh. And, yeah. I don't fucking know. It's made up right before we start yeah. playing. Uh, I don't... Okay, I'm suddenly on Go for it. And yeah. I'm like... No, never mind. There's fire. I was about to run up and start stabbing it, and I've decided <laughs> against it. I'm going to throw more potent vapors at it. Oh, wait. I'm going to throw unnerved gas at it. Okay. Uh no. No. That would fuck everything up. Okay. I'm gonna throw another potent vapor and once again I'm going double or nothing, just trying to do double damage so that I can stun it. Okay, um, and it, it has it is covered in rats, so it's trip you know, it's three three advantage dice. Or sorry, or two, two advantage dice. Two advantage dice. Oh, cool. Three dice. Okay, then I'm going to use one for the hit and one for the damage. Cool. So my hit Oh, but you Yeah, okay, no, sorry, keep going, keep going. Nothing else. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, great. I hit it for the first time ever. And the damage die is 2d4. Um, yeah, two fours. Woo! Which could mean it's cool. stunned. But it might be not roll, because it's a giant monster. Roll a... Make a knowledge check with a die of disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. I succeeded 10 and 11. Cool. It is stunned for a round. Wow. What? I finally did something this. in combat. I finally did something <laughs> in combat. These these single these single uh, enemy battles are can be can be rough. Like this this is good to know. There's you, too many too many things that take things completely out of <laughs> what you might want to do, but not right now because we should yeah, yeah. win. Um I mean maybe maybe not. <laughs> uh is where a stunning or something only does one of its actions, but not all of its actions. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Um, Perfidia or Roger, whoever would like to go. What What do you think? That's, that, that's my mom. I'll do what she tells me to. Roger, blow your darts. I really want to blow this dart. Hi. <laughs> do your one damage. Blow your darts, honey. Okay. I believe in you. Okay. I feel you've been good practicing for weeks. Yeah. I know you've got this. I've got the range. I know it. All right. I'm blowing them. And you get a die. Yeah, but you advantage. and your rats are doing so good. I rolled an 11. What does it mean? I think that's a. Is your yeah? It should be a pass because your speed is eleven. Is that true? Yes, that is true. Great. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so it it hits. It does one yes. damage, and if you get of six of them enough. in there, something else might happen. Okay, <laughs> so that's one down, five to go. We've got this, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it seems like we do. <laughs> yeah. um, Don't jinx it, Perfidia. I don't um, think it's possible to write a bad poem about this. Yeah. <laughs> it's an epic in nature. It's huh. going it to be the take best a horrible poem ever. poet to fuck this up. <laughs> There's no way that'll happen. Nope. <laughs> uh, Everyone, it's going to get in the newspaper. It's going to be the best. Um, I don't know if I should continue to curse it if it's already stunned. Um, so 
Yeah, I don't know. Probably, but it's free action, so to do it. Okay, then I'm gonna just keep Wait. my curse going. Right. It's, so I, I thought it was a free action again? to end it. No, it, it cultists may choose to continue the curse by making a will check as a free action. I says. Oh, so then... yep, yep, great. That yeah, because so you're supposed to be able action. to keep cursing people and throwing bombs. Yeah, yeah. That's a free action, and I still get a check. Oh, yeah, so, so yeah, it is stunned, so it's like it's probably not going to. Well, but it affect anything. But. but it might. But by keeping it up, you then get to do it next round, also. Yeah, I guess we so. stack it. Yeah. Okay, so to... um, I I passed my check, so now I do D four, and oh, I got. Oh, a two, which means nothing happened. Yeah, acts normally, but curse okay, continues. But do I still get to throw a bomb? Yeah, yeah, you can throw a bomb. You could throw a knife. You could. I can throw yeah, a bomb, but I at, get. A... You are better at knives. Well, oh, well. We all saw what okay. happened with the bombs. Yeah, well, you know, I get advantage this time. Well, I have to blow five more darts successfully, and then something's really going to happen. Oh, you're right. I guess the yeah, the Maybe. knives are with the speed. Okay. And I only have two, so. <laughs> but I get um I get a die of advantage, so I get to do it twice. So you either choose to be more likely to hit it and apply it to your attack, or you save it before you roll, and then you can apply it to the damage if you hit. Okay, so I'm going to apply it to the damage then. Hell yeah, double or nothing. All right, I got an 8 and my speed is 11, so I hit it, right? Yeah, so you roll 2d4 for damage. Nice, okay. So 1 and a 4. Cool, so 5. Beautiful. It Your knife sinks into it. It That's kind of whimpers. Its thing. vocal cord seems a little uh, stunned. A little full of vapor. A little full of vapor. Ooh. Yeah. I'm uh, a little bit disappointed that it didn't scream, um, but I'm not going to let it get to me. <laughs> uh, zip -a -dip -a -do. Um, someone different roll a d20. Still not it. I'll do it. Wait, does anyone have a physical die? Yeah. Well, we'll let the physical oh, so you want to do it then? Sure. Okay. Well, everyone should trade. Everyone should trade. Yeah. Okay. That's a good point. Here Would you go. want me to do it? I'm going. I'm already, it's already okay. in my hand. It's good. going. It's a 19. It. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another re report of gunfire wow. slams into it. Just really building a good relationship with it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, report. Thanks, thanks, oh, yeah, Jamie. sorry. Love report. report. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know how you pronounce report. I don't report. know. <laughs> report. <laughs> um, you know, um, I'm going to do a bad DM thing, and we are going to, just to make things more interesting, we are going to change this stun rule. That's fair. Where it yeah. only does the first action and not all of them. Yeah, yeah. It's going to do, it's going to do one one thing it is still frozen and i feel like this is appropriate for the amount of damage that it's getting which is that um uh is anybody up and around it right now i think uh um no turn of is pervidia just stabbed no, it no i zoom, i i no i threw a knife at it yeah no. okay cool and oh yeah because everyone's everyone's nearby still yeah. Cool. yeah um it uh just it after taking all of this damage you see it's like belly kind of rumbling and you see it just open its mouth and it's just like bile and like goo just fly everywhere um and i want everyone to make a speed check with a die of advantage to um okay evade this goo die advantage because of the rat still um no it's because of um it's because you're nearby oh mm. yeah i succeed i super failed i succeed I, twice i got a 10 what's your speed 11 you succeeded yeah. so per perfidia you you fail and oh. you get 
You're going to take four points of damage from this goo. Like I pooped. Yeah. Does that go to armor points first or no? Oh, yeah, it's going to go to armor points first. You see, you see your armor kind of like melting away. <laughs> but don't worry, we magically fixed after the battle. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so how many was that? Uh, four. So your 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 armor. Okay. Well, you're wearing gambeson, so like the you know like the it just kind of soaks into it, and like the then it's saturated. Um, yeah. So you are acidated. Um, I got. And then it's gonna be Turnivus's turn. Um. Okay, I'm gonna charge it. With my lance, cool. Gonna gonna go for it. Uh, right through the belly. Gonna try and slash it across its belly. Cool. I succeed. Beautiful. And I do six damage. Ooh, six. Beautiful. I'm trying to rip its spitting ability away <laughs> just <laughs> empty all that goo out onto the street hell yeah um ban like leans in deeper with that sword and he's gonna blow us all up with enthusiasm <laughs> ban is rolling uncontrollably <laughs> well <laughs> the the hole gets bigger and bane is like just really holding it together and um uh this huge huge blast of fire just shoots out at this thing at some point it's going to start burning us too i think yeah. yeah let's just say that um uh you know it's the disadvantage stacks every time and bane is rolling exceptionally well the hairs on the back oh. of my neck are standing up. This feels bad. Yeah. It's bad. It's yeah, bad. I'm I'm scared, but also you... a little turned on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the overall vibe about this guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, Grimoria, Perfidia, and Roger. It is your turn again. I went first last time. So let's go. Okay, fine. I'm going. I oh, oh, I go. I nope, nope, going. nope. Roger, go. I'm gonna blow a dart. Here I go. Yay! <laughs> six. It hit. Got it. Wow. That's two out of six. That's two. And, and the, the one point of yeah, rat damage. Let's do their thing. Ooh. Oh yeah, and rat damage. All, All right. right. Well, I'm I gonna feel like throw I'm my cheated. last knife. It's my last. Throw one. it. Oh. I didn't do so good this time. Maybe it's because I got slimed. Yeah. Oh, um, it slipped right out of my hands and went bleh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, God damn it. This is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You also take one point of damage from that acid that is still on you. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Two can play the damage over time game. <laughs> uh, um... Grimora. Yeah, I'm out of vapors that don't have effects that we don't want, so I'm going to throw a knife at it uh, and miss. That's my plan for probably the rest of the combat. Huh. Cool. Um, someone roll a d20. Wait, can I, how do I, how do I stop taking damage from the acid? Uh, you could ask Bayan. Oh. Can I can I like wipe it off of myself at least? Because didn't he say I don't know what? Bayon's Bay got to concentrate right now, real <laughs> yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at this point, if Bayon fails, I think I will blow up. Possibly all of us will blow up. Possibly Triumph Tower will fall over. <laughs> okay, I'll just stay gross for the next ten minutes, but somebody's got to help me. Someone, someone can recall what Bayon said at the beginning of combat. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember. Said, oh, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> we were supposed to listen to Ban? <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. Don't let the goo well, get on you. I don't remember. It's not like there's any place <laughs> I can go to take a shower. 
It's also going to make the monster chase after you and think you're tasty. Oh, yeah. I remember that part. We have to get you out if they tries to eat you, but... Oh, I... Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Don't worry. Yeah. Perfidia, what do you All got? Right. Yeah, what do you got? No, Perfidia just went. Perfidia threw a knife and failed. It's oh, your turn. Well, what about the holy knife? Oh, no, the... sorry. Battle it's... Curse. Um... Battle curse, battle curse, battle curse. Yeah, wait, I didn't... Roll your Did will. I? Oh. Roll your will to keep the monster stunned. That's the the song about it. What is it? It's a... Oh, okay. It's the a will check. check. I was hoping for people would forget. The GM in me hoped for I video failed. forgot. And okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Um you feel the curse wear off. Should I should I kill Bayon? Like, is that the only way to not get blown up? I'm like, hey Bay, that's enough. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't know this. My character doesn't know yeah, this. Yeah, Never mind. Character doesn't know this. Um, yeah, but yeah. you probably you, seem... you probably know enough to be like this can't go on. Yeah, no, this is uh, unsustainable. All of, all of us do know something is bad here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Stolas focuses in on Perfidia, and oh. seeing the goo and mm-hmm. charges at Perfidia. Perfidia, make a what is it? A strength check it's a strength check yay i'm fucked <laughs> it's okay it'll get bigger if it oh Can do I? I get a die of advantage at least oh you do oh, yeah. you do get a die of advantage yeah the rats, the rats. i still yeah. failed because you of failed. the no. oh no <laughs> the and rescue her on my motorcycle Beast i'm so delicious pounces on top of you and ah! um actually oh i don't have d4s um someone roll uh uh two d4s okay, this is the only one with physical dice yeah uh but i can't see in the dark uh a four it looks very a bright three. in your room <laughs> a four and a three it's, yeah it's just bright oh. on the computer screen cool um for video you take seven damage i'm sorry okay I'm I'm super dead, and with my last breath, I say, "This is dead. so gross." Yeah, you're not dead. You're just you're just out of action. This is yeah. really gross. Ack, ack, ack. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the uh, the stolas rears up with its beak, and uh, I need you to roll another d. Oh wait, 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 wait! Stop. <laughs> Can I do my? Can I can I at least with my my dying? Can I can I have a, my reaction? What's your with reaction? Blood always has a cost. Ooh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Hey, as a reaction to being hit by an attack, I can curse the opponent by succeeding on a will check. Yeah, which I totally just did, and now I roll a d six for. <laughs> Curse, which are some really until funny curses. the beginning of the target's next turn, anybody who attacks has a die of advantage on their next attack. Hell yeah! Does that mean demon. we have two dies of advantage? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two oh. dies. Yeah. So, um, with with my last breath, I curse Zoidberg. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Great. Um. So, Turnivus, could you roll another d4 for us? Yeah. Two. Two, cool. Um, Perfidia, uh, um, uh, Grimora, super, you you are number I'm one. I'm super dead. Grimora, you are one and will. Roger, you are two and strength. Did this um, change? No, it's random. I thought it was the highest one. Uh, okay, cool. We'll just do that then. Um, Perfidia, you take two damage to your will. Your will yeah. is too lower than it was when it gets to zero you will die because i'm dead oh no you're not you're out of action you're You're unconscious yeah you're unconscious okay um and damage to your will damage to your will okay so your will should now be 13 or sorry 11 11 it's 11 yeah yeah Yeah. and the stolas you see a hole in its side 
close up. Ah. Oh shit! It's healing itself. Yeah. Mother shit. Um, and that's the end. That's the end of the Stolas's turn. Uh, <laughs> and uh. Oh no! Sorry, it has no. Yeah, it's the end of its turn. It technically <laughs> can do something, but we're gonna call it. Um. Uh, somebody roll a d twenty. Uh, that's my turn, I think. Um. <laughs> One. One. Cool. Uh, one bullet. You see one bullet hit it. Every uh, other time rolling. And a, a, is really a shower of bullets go everywhere else in a worrisome way. <laughs> okay. Soon a fucking hellfire is going to destroy itself. Yeah. Uh, turn of us. It is your turn. Okay. I'm going to... Um, zoom over and scoop up Perfidia and put her on the back of my motorcycle. Um, cool. and then zoom away from the demon and chuck a bomb behind me as I go away. No one is close to it. Cool. Two no, dice no of advantage. It. Yeah. Two dies of advantage. And you have to pick whether or not they are for damage or attack, and you can split them up however you want. I only have two d20s, so. Well, but you just have to pick if they're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um. To pick before you. You have to. You have to declare whether they're extra attack or extra damage. What am I like? Extra attack. Okay. So, uh, is it? Do you get two dice to hit it, or do you get two dice to damage it? I want two. So you have. I can hit it. Well, so you get both. You have two extra dice total. Uh huh. And you can give them however you want between. Oh, between everything I do. So chance like, because to hit. I have two extra. I can do extra chance to hit and extra damage. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Or put it all on damage or put it right. all on attack. Yeah. We're going to split it up. So one, one for each, one extra one for each. Um, Thank you, Margaret. Yeah. Uh, I pass. One of my favorite things, but it's also one of the most complicated to explain. Pass kind of just, just barely, but pass. Hell yeah. Um, Bomb and then rolling two d6. d6. For damage. Give me another d6. There. What do you want in here? Um, for four damage total, even with two d6. <laughs> bom, bom. Okay. <laughs> it explodes behind you. A boom. A boom boom. Okay, um, yeah, and now. I have an unconscious perfidia on my motorcycle that is still covered in goo. Um, so the creature should now be following us. Oh shit. Possible. It's possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um <laughs> it's very possible. Uh it is Bayan's turn. Oh, Bayan real sweating. Looks I'm like, like, hey, Bayan, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, Bayan. Saving like us. Alive. Digs the sword in <laughs> deeper. Fuck. What? And Bayan finally failed. Oh, good, because it's not like it gets hard, harder and harder and more of a problem. Yeah. Alright, what happens with the failure? As long as Bayan made the problem worse. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm probably dead. <laughs> and so is Bayan. <laughs> Bayan's almost certainly dead. What's Bayan's end game? Us. We're all <laughs> over. Uh, uh, Bayan, uh, Bayan, Bayan and Grimora both take uh, nine fire damage or nine nine damage. Oh, I technically alive. <laughs> <laughs> Bayan like pushes you out of the way, but it's like uh -huh. absolutely too late, and the the flaming eye just erupts onto both of y'all. Uh huh. And then it like disappears, and like uh -huh. the sword like clatters to the ground, and um, uh, Bayan is down. I've got one hit point. <laughs> you should pick up that sword. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Grimora, for Fidia and Roger, it is your turns. Oh, fuck. I'm... Okay. I have a question. Um, about tractable influence. Mm -hmm. 
that says a rat king can infuse their blowgun poison with a fungus they can commune with and thus influence the target after a target has been hit with two poison darts within an hour of one another, which I believe I've done. The target is considered to be under the rat king's influence for the next 10 minutes. Um, so that would also, we're kind of like changing it up to be six instead of the two. Oh, yeah. okay. So I, it's still the six. Yeah. Because it was because then I can give him a three word command, which is uh, kill yourself now. And <laughs> yeah. that, that would have worked great. Just some kill KYS. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if you if if y'all don't mind, I might just throw another dart. Yeah. <laughs> and now you have now you have two dice of advantage, and you can yeah. again. In Ooh. this case, you probably want to put them all on attack because otherwise, it just you're only getting would... one extra point of damage. I would like that. Yes. How how many? So I should just roll how many times? Three. Three d twenty. Three. three. Okay. Yeah. We got a nine. Got a two. We got a sixteen. Yeah, you oh, succeed. That's a that's a pass. Uh, yeah. So what are you at? Three on it. Yeah. yeah. Three. Fuck three. yeah. Living on a prayer. <laughs> Halfway. Uh, <there. laughs> God. Yeah. Wow. You take one damage from the acid. Okay. To your will. <laughs> so you're down to 10 will. Oh. Damn it. And the person who knows how to clean it off. <laughs> so unconscious. Oh, uh, shit. Grimora, did you go already? No. No, it's your turn. Oh, great. I can throw a little knife at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like tempted to run up and just start stabbing because I can do a little bit more damage, but I'm not going to because I have one goddamn hit point. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put uh one on attack and one on damage. Okay, cool. Um I succeed at hitting and uh four four damage. Four damage, nine. cool. Cool, cool. Um so I think that's like all I this is this is not where patch workers shine. <laughs> um, <laughs> we really should give them an I know we were trying to not do it. We should really give them an in combat heal. I think. Yeah, or at least like a like pull someone out of out of action or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so like a stabilize. Yeah, like just like literally like, well, you know bodies so well that you can like give someone a hit point or some shit. Or like even have like a little like emergency or like you got your little backup bit. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like the uh, fuck. What is it called? Um, the orcs have it in D and D. Um, something endurance. Well, actually, uh, dogs wheels have that in this, where they're like too tough to die or whatever. Like never say oh, die. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's for themselves. I think it'd yeah. be cool if um, patch workers could like patch someone up in combat. Um, yeah. Pull we someone should... out of out of action. Yeah, we should figure it out some some other time. Some yeah. other time. All right. <laughs> Um, the, I will say the Stolas is like not looking great. It is like moving more erratically. It is like it's stumbling. It is, yeah, not doing good. Cool. Yeah. If only I knew how many hit points it had. Yeah. I um, yell. I have one. How many have thee? <laughs> <laughs> but the Stolas charges after uh, Turnivus, and Turnivus, I'm going to need you to make a speed check. Or sorry, a, uh, strength strength check because it's a strength attack. With or without advantage? Uh, with advantage still. Yeah, from the rats. Yeah. Great. Uh, I pass. Cool. It pounces on you, but it misses. Um, but I'm going so fast. Exactly. It, is, it moves <laughs> frighteningly fast. Um, Great. Okay. And. Uh, then it is going to, uh, it just, like, looks at you, it, it just, and it belches acid all over you, or tries to. So you're going to have to make a speed Another check. One? Speed check. Okay. Yeah. And this is not with a die advantage, because it's not a melee attack. Okay. Um, I rolled two die. <laughs> Should I just re-roll one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I pass. 
Well, you evade the acid. Zoom. Yeah. And so does Perfidia, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this um, is a good idea to pick her up, but it felt nice to do. <laughs> it's prop is very good that you did that, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I um, think if it ate me anymore, it would get better. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the Stolas uh, is going to shriek, and I need everyone to make oh. a little check. Oh, gosh. Um. What is my past? Oof, just barely passed. Cool. Um, uh, per video, you're unconscious, and yeah. uh, we'll get uh, we'll get Rogers when when Roger comes back. Um, um, the deadest. You're still alive. Uh, someone, me, someone, roll a d twenty. Not I'll, me. I'll I'll do it. A nine. Cool. Better than me. Nine better. times better than me. <laughs> a crack of gunfire erupts into the the. I gotta get some better adjectives. You see a lot of holes burst out of it. <laughs> the cacophony it. of 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 40 rifles yeah 21 gun salute yeah <laughs> uh zip it do turn of us it is your turn okay how many bombs do i have um i it think it's, it should be in your inventory um i think you have three three so you're probably there. out yeah you're almost certainly out okay for the record it doesn't say in my inventory how many bombs it, i have it does this is ammo handgun 30 bombs three i my the sheet i have says I'm, 30 rounds of ammunition in my inventory. so that's that's the okay you're right where it says inventory that's just a way it was copy and pasted if you scroll up where it has like your hit points and shit there's mm. a section that says ammo on the first page yeah bombs on the first page okay i mean i don't oh yeah there we go obviously yeah. okay Cool, got it. Bomb zero. Okay, also, so Roger's back. Um, yeah. Roger, you Rod, gotta make yeah, a. Will. The thing so... shrieked in the bad way, and so you gotta oh. make a will, a will save. Bad for us. A okay. Bad for you. Okay, time to roll. I got a nine. Doing good. Doing good. Nice. Right. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. Turn to this. No, you're you're good. Um. Okay. Well. Well. Uh. Pull, pull arming on the motorcycle. Here we go. Hell yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, I do not pass. Okay. Even you with the advantage. advantage. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. That passes. Cool. And okay, I'll use the other. The the other die advantage is still a thing, or that's that's no, that's gone. Okay. And also, you would have to have announced before. I know. I realize. I realize. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, four My damage class. though. Four damage. You know, every bit counts. I friggin' hope so. <laughs> it you like pierce it and like this just big well of like blood just like starts pouring out of it and you see it kind of start to deflate like it's I... like a balloon. Ooh. I'm going to zoom far away of this blood puddle. Still cool. zooming. Still Not zooming. stopping. Never stopping. Give cool. the rats a little whistle of encouragement. Good job, um, gang. <laughs> so we are back. The rats to... are making the combat. The rats are like, <laughs> if we win, it is the rats. <laughs> yeah, true. for real. Uh, we're back to Grimora for, uh, and Roger, and they are. We're gonna. I think at this point of travel, after two turns of moving, they are no longer nearby. I think they're distant. I thought that Turnivus was circling. Am I wrong? Yeah, Turnivus, were you I'm just circling. driving away? Yeah, like in the plaza, just like. Okay. Okay. Cool. We'll say they're at like the very edge of nearby. Okay. For y'all. Okay. Uh, giving it the old knifey boy. Um, double or nothing, baby. Just all the advantage on damage. <laughs> Wish I'd done the other way. <laughs> Failure. Yeah. All right. Cool. Continue. Cool. 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 Uh, Perfidia, <laughs> you take one more damage to your will. Uh, you, not your unconscious yeah. body you can like you, yeah. you might want to try and wipe that off 
I guess. <laughs> He's a rag or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's not going to bring her back into consciousness, though. So I feel like I, I don't no, but, know. There's but other she'll priorities. die. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Roger, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to blow a dart. Let's see how this goes. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I got a 12. I missed this time. Well, you have two dice, right? Oh, wait. Okay. Nah, yeah, I definitely missed. All right. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> um but your rats their rat, rats do their one damage they're ratting yeah um, if it wasn't for this die of advantage we would be completely dead i mean that's true beforehand Inman was like it's okay if i kill you all i was like yeah it's fine i'm i'm trying i am actually i think the yeah. thing that's saving you is the uh 20 points of like uh extra damage that happened from like yeah. uh y'all having uh, fought this thing in a, in the right place. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, and also being super cool and likable. Yeah, yeah, super cool. It's really all Turnivus. Turnivus is Thank really you. carrying the. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very true. Yeah. Um. The it is the Stolas's turn. The Stolas. Um. The Stolas is gonna keep. You know, it's committed. It's gonna keep. Actually, does it? It. It's smart enough. It's been hurt enough by you. And it is going to turn its attention. It's like seeing the rats finally. And it's like, you know, no. fuck these rats. Oh. And it charges at Roger. Roger, <gasps> I need you to make a strength check. Okay. With, a with, with, advantage. with advantage. With advantage. Wait, what is that? I roll twice? Yeah, yeah roll twice. Okay. Take the lowest. Okay. Okay. Eight is the lowest. Beautiful. What's your what's your strength? Uh let me double check. I think nice. your strength is seven. Oh, sure enough. It so is that's seven. A failure. It's a failure. So that's actually bad. Um turn up. turn of us, could you roll two D four? Shit. Uh B, could you roll two D four for me? Your fate, uh, Roger's fate is in your hands. A two and a three. Two and a three. Um, you take five damage, Roger. And so that comes out really? first from your armor points? Yeah. Um, um, and oh, and you are knocked down too. No. Yeah. Are my rats okay? Your rats are okay. You're knocked down, which means oh. that it there's this the it now has an advantage die on attacks against you. It's which kind of it nice is, just so. to know that like my presence is. I mean that he associated <laughs> me with the rats. Yeah, it's like yeah, I am doing something. Noticed you. I need yeah. you to make a strength check with another strength check with with uh. uh okay. I, no I guess advantage. it's gonna e yeah no advantage but no disadvantage it's just an even okay. even strength check twenty oh. that is a strings attached um okay so we will say that you successfully defend against it but you are gonna be stunned for a round okay um and I guess the way we'll rule this now is. We'll say if you have free actions on your turn, mm -hmm. um, you can do a free action or free action or a movement. No, free action, free action. Okay. Or reaction. Wait, well, if you have a, okay. like, an applicable reaction, then you can do that. Gotcha. This is going to, we're going to have to, I'm just saying stuff right now, but we'll have to figure this out at some point. Um, but just oh. to be fair. You can actually, you can use your reaction already oh yeah you have the reaction unapproachable as a reaction to being attacked by someone <laughs> close you can make a speed check and on your succeed um uh and if you succeed it they take damage and if they succeed well then it gets frightened i can weaponize being unapproachable yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh that's great i yeah. forgot about that one so you should do that yeah. Oh, can I do that right now? 
Yeah. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, yes, I would. I would like to do that right now. Yeah. Make a so make a speed check. Okay. It's a failure. Okay. Well, never mind. Okay. Cool. All Congrats. right. Well, but Congrats, good to yeah. know I have the option. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Um. Do -ba -do -ba -do. I is it Stolas's turn. Stolas is done. Um. Somebody roll a d twenty. Never me again. Roger, roll a d20. I'll yeah, do you've, it. You've done the best. Oh, well, see. Uh, 19. Yeah. Yeah. It did is it like, it? Did it do it? It's not quite, but it is like, uh, you can see it just fucking teetering. Oh, yeah. Oof, oof, oof. yeah. Uh, zip, doop, doop, turn of us, it is your turn. Okay, well, we got the we got the one move. I'm gonna shout some insults at it because I would really prefer if it was trying to chase me. Uh, so I wave Perfidia's smelly little arms in the air. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to charge at it. <laughs> um, with my pole arm using my die of advantage on the scroll, and I uh pass. Twice, so great. success. Um, and do four damage. It's dead. A fucking stiff wind could kill this thing. Oh my Whoa. god! We should let Roger do it. Oh dart! We should let blow Roger dart. do it. It's Roger's turn. Dark, Grimora, dark, yeah. dark, blow dart it. Grimora, Can I blow dart. Roger. Yeah. If, Is it, it allowed? I mean, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. your turn. Yeah. Okay, oh, I feel so bad about this now. Okay, two dice. Eight. Wait, wouldn't wouldn't even just the rats do yeah. one damage and kill Eight it? Eight and six. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. Your blow dart hits. Describe. <laughs> okay, see, you, you, Roger, you yeah, you have taken this thing down. Describe to us <laughs> with your little blow dart. victory. Oh, yes, Have my little notepad out. I'm like, the sun crests. <laughs> <laughs> And for the first time, the light hits me. <laughs> I don't describe <laughs> what's happening really at all in my poem. I mostly describe how people are looking at me, and it feels really good. And I still have 25 darts. Wow, seems like I did pretty awesome in the battle. I look at my family uh, gnawing at the creature. Um, and I just feel so good to finally know that I am, in fact, better than everybody around me. Um, <laughs> I've been the only person to know it for so long, but now with the rats watching me and everyone else and the sun seeing me for the first time, um, you know, this, this is, is my moment. And then it just sort of like devolves into plagiarism of a much better poem, <laughs> poem that someone else wrote. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful so the rats just sort of eat it <laughs> yeah yeah i don't know that part's not important the most important part is that i blew a dart <laughs> <laughs> the best dart <laughs> the yeah. best most poisonous dart <laughs> yeah um and as the rats scamper off of it um they're kind of like digging around at it and um uh, they bring over a partially dissolved hand with um a very familiar looking tattoo on it that you know to be Mallory's. Oh, man, she always Babe. had the best nails. Yeah, the nails, the nails are sick. And um uh across the nails you see letters spelled out. As if like someone was like, you know, painted their nails with 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 letters on them and they spell yeah. out. R O G E R. Holy shit. Whoa. What if the other hand said, I hey. hate you? I'm wiping the stuff <laughs> off of Perfidia. Hey. <laughs> cool. Cool. You like rip it off. And yeah, yeah, now that we're in a moment of calm. Who said I stopped? I, I believe you can do some, your, some, some patchworking to, um, I gotta. I don't have a body here. I have to drag him back to my place. We have. We have. Um, right so, 
you so patchworkers all have they have like their jars of like partial like you should have ready to go material already also i mean i guess he exploded huh he's not really a body I uh, my oh no no he's crying. no he, i'm i'm he's alive i'm gonna heal him oh, he's too alive <laughs> they're both just out of action i'm the way the rules are written currently it, re it involves fresh donor material oh wait we did write more about it um i don't yeah, know like sure i fucking really quickly heal people enough that they don't die um I, well let's let's just we, you see um yeah. you i'm see, not trying to make a big you guess. see you, you see fey and like like run across because you live right near the plaza and yeah. like f like fey and you just see fey and dragging a corpse over hell yeah um as hell if yeah. like, anticipating this very is? moment yeah. uh no it's it's the one that grimora had in the yeah in storage um, but the yeah. ants didn't get to it because of fey and's fast action so <laughs> fey and's the real hero I don't see anyone else who'd be worth celebrating in this moment. Um, <laughs> and I immediately, I start flaying the body with scalpels in the middle of the plaza as if I'm not doing anything strange. <laughs> and uh, pull out a, basically it looks like a kombucha mother that's floating in gore. <laughs> and I, I pull out some of it with my bare hand. I slap it on the skin and I apply it to, um, to first to perfidia and then to, um, and i don't know if perfidia is gonna like this this is more gross than the goo this is the old this is the only way people get healed in this town this gross. <laughs> unless they go to the priests who fucking fill them up with white light from sacrificed angels i'm on my knees weeping grasping at mallory's hand um and quietly forgiving mallory for not giving me notes back and for not writing me back, I totally understand now. And I'm sure that she was about to. And it's okay. I forgive her. Cool. Um, Perfidia, you come to consciousness. Your friends are around you. The Stolas corpse is laying there. You see Grimora working on Bayon. Um Start having second thoughts while I'm halfway through it. <laughs> do you work on? Do you do you do you fix up Ban? I kind of like start, and then I'm like, <laughs> should I heal this guy? Or did he kind of like make his own decisions? Did I we mean, win? He was prepared to die, so I don't know. We've all made choices. Yeah. Okay. So you, <laughs> I heal him. Okay. I'm not going to tell anyone it was him. <laughs> <laughs> that was part of the deal. <laughs> that was part of the deal. Yeah. Um, Fan runs over and is like, "There, there's a fucking crowd. There's a crowd around y'all." Um. Oh shit! I lift you up know, Roger's I... hand and be like, "Yeah, like the winner." No, go, go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> I totally forgot about. I've I totally never wanted felt like this before, <laughs> except for all the other times. I totally wanted this to be part of it, but I forgot about the theater troupe. Oh, um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I hey. wanted them to be part of it and I forgot, which is fine. Oh. They're just like they're they're like they're like they, they go over to um to Turnibus and they're just like 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 they just pick you up and they're like parading you <laughs> around. And you can see one of them already scrawling like the the ballad of Turnibus. <laughs> 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 i love this but also i hate it i love attention oh. but i really hate when i'm being carried around by things that are not my dog wheel this is very <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> um this is this is a good place to start to wrap things up does anyone have any kind of like endings that the end notes that they would like to end on where they're characters going off next um there is the the pie i was gonna working say, shows up one final and... pie taste test please did he figure it yeah. out yeah borgen shows up but there's just a fucking rager of a party in the plaza that <laughs> night um, so much pie so much pie. i keep reminding people that i'm vegetarian while i am in the process of carving up one of the police officers <laughs> and using it to patch the wounds in my body from the fire <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Does anybody I think don't. that the pie crust this time is like a little bit too sweet? 
I kind of, I'm just eating the fillings. I'm not, I'm not eating the crust. <laughs> I, I just wrote Eduardo a little note and sent a rat back to the bar to see if, uh, if Eduardo is still interested after the come down. <laughs> well, um, you see, you see uh, later in the night, Eduardo like stumbling up and just like looking around and like, um, and Eduardo like comes over to you and um it's like i heard you slew a demon oh he's mad and then i take eduardo's face in my hands and i go that's exactly what i did and i did it all by myself <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I'm you really, for tolerating I, my lie. I need a shower so bad. I really <laughs> should have true. wiped you off. <laughs> you, you also need, um, I kind of, I'm like, you've got some permanent damage. You have to come by the shop later and I'll put a new leg in. Am I still going to be hot, doctor? Oh. <laughs> Look. Um, if this were going on further, I would say, you know, obvious huge uppage uh, reputation with the revolutionists um, and even um, the Gettysists, uh y'all yeah. have, which are kind of their own. No, we put them in the reasonable. Um, did? So I think we put them in the reasonable. Oh, I thought they were. We, okay. They seem pretty know. unreasonable. We'll the Gettysists, doesn't <laughs> yeah, matter. Yeah. 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 You, I Super think no one will touch them as the whole. Anyway, whatever. We'll talk about this some other time. Sorry. Yeah. Um. And Bayan, Bayan kind of slips off quietly after being healed. Um, I can't believe he healed that guy. Wow. Oh. He really helped. And me then out. he ghosted you. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> that was worth he needs getting healed. <laughs> Bayan's just like I'm. I. This is y'all. Your time to celebrate. I. I must mourn. The yeah, dead fuck up. that I have yeah. caused, and just like slips that. off. Fine. Cool. And then we hear the hounds, and then you hear the hounds. The bay and the bay of the hounds. Hi. Okay, the bay of the hounds. <laughs> um, thanks, y'all, so much. Um, wow. I, that was so much fun for me. I hope it was fun that for was a you. Blast. You um, tried to kill us and you couldn't. I can't believe we didn't die. <laughs> we all lived. That's very impressive. Yeah, I took... didn't even lose one hit point. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of character now. They really <laughs> tried. That thing really <laughs> tried to fuck you up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there were some lucky dice involved in our survival. Yeah, <laughs> Having two each. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they got yeah. us for the rats. Yeah, the rats. Just fucking save the day. Yeah, there were some, I really thought at the beginning, I was like, y'all are going to destroy this thing. You have so much controlling abilities at your disposal. And I was like, but I I didn't change anything. You know, I didn't change how I was doing things. I just, we're going to play it out. And then I was like, oh, y'all are getting worn down. Oh, your, your wizard got taken out. (laughs) You're running out of resources. This, this is one of the, I think this is the most fun combat i've like ever run in any game it was fun yeah. it was so fun, fun. yeah um, there's like just enough to like like there were some things i realized i missed but really only one thing is like when someone attacks me and gets close to me i can just kind of attack it first yeah which i wish i had done but it's reasonable everything else i was like okay cool i got this i know what to do yeah overwhelmed um, Maybe we could wrap things up with just a little quick little go around uh, thoughts that people had about the game. Um, yeah, maybe just, you know, a few sentences. We're at like four hours on this recording. And remembering that this is not to make the game better. It's to make the game seem better to the people who are listening. Yes. Hey, listeners. <laughs> I mean, it's like to make the game better. Oh. Give us your money. <laughs> we'll get so we'll I get to the plug. My job. We'll get oh, to okay. the plug. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Oh. I really do okay. think combat in this game is is much more fun than other games I've played. Like it it feels like versatile and creative. Um 
yeah, like just getting to throw a motorcycle at a bunch of cops is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was an inspired time. choice. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the first time playing a tabletop game in a long time where I was like, oh, I truly don't know what's going to happen. Like it, especially once Perfidio is taken out during mm. combat, I was like, oh, we could be very fucked or we have all these weird powers I half understand and I'm learning. And like, it's so, I don't know. It was cool. Cool. I was very excited to curse someone with my dying breath. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes beautiful. sense. That was, that was like the best You're, thing. You made a meal of it. It was great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that I need to figure out how patchworkers do something to think of people that aren't humans, but also like, I rolled bad and like I got to do all kinds of fun shit out of combat and like I don't know um so and I I don't know yeah yeah I like this was really fun it makes me like I'm really I'm really glad we did this like right before we launched the game because it just like reminds me that I'm like oh yeah we're building this like really cool game so Mm -hmm. yeah and I guess to plug that now, um, everyone who is still listening after like four and a half hours, I think. Yeah, I don't know where you're driving to, but I hope you got there. (laughs) We have to be able to trim this down, right? (laughs) No, 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 no. Yeah, be multiple episodes, maybe. Do you do you know how many four and a half hour sessions of Critical Role I've listened to? So many. um that's fair or like yeah I've, I've listened to the adventure zone for like an entire day yeah 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 no it's gonna be great um to, but to everyone who's still listening um we are we have been working on this game for a very long time uh margaret has been working on it for like 10 years yeah about I think. 10 years yeah yeah the first and, draft of it i wrote in a squatted trailer park in mines germany and that's where the dog girls, they might be the only, the dog girls and the patchworkers might be the only original characters left. Anyway, sorry. Oh, no, no thank you. Um, and we are working so hard to get this game out to more people. I want to thank everyone who participated in our first play test. Um, it is because of y'all that the game functions a lot better or functions just, it was just, it was more, more, uh, dialed in um, to what it should be. So thanks everyone who participated in the first play test. And yeah, we're launching a Kickstarter on June 1st. Um, you can find that Kickstarter By Googling it. By Googling Penumbra City Kickstarter. It. One second. I'll or, put it in the show notes. Any social media. I, th- I think you'll I think people will just Google it. Yeah. Um, but if you want to verbally hear it, you can find it at kickstarter.com slash project slash penumbra hyphen city slash penumbra hyphen city. Um it'll be in the show notes, it'll be all of our socials. Um social media is god, I hate that word, socials. Um <laughs> And yeah, it comes out June 1st. Um, there are first, there's a first day discount on June 1st. You will be able to get this, the print editions of this game for 20% cheaper. That is correct, Margaret. 20% cheaper. Yeah. yeah 10, 10 bucks off. 10 bucks off. Um, and yeah, please, please check out our Kickstarter. Please tell your friends if we can get this game out to people, we would, we would just really love that. It is that is what it's all about is getting this game out to people. Um, yeah, Margaret, do you have anything else, Robin? Uh, about Penumbra, um, uh, if you listen to this after the Kickstarter, the game's still available. Yeah, Robin. Yeah, please, please support us. I, if <laughs> I just want to we... make art, please. <laughs> Uh, please donate to our Kickstarter so that Robin can get away from her hellish job. That is hmm. the true reason we are doing this. Um, <laughs> it's not the true reason. <laughs> it would be lovely. It's all rescuing Perfidia. To make to make <laughs> money making art. 
That would yeah. be sick. Perfidia. Perfidia. Um, and thank you so much, B. I'm so glad to finally have you on the podcast as <laughs> the person who reads most of the things on the podcast. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah. Um, this was really fun. There's so much more in the game that I'm like excited to do someday. So sick. someday, someday. You someday. too. Someday. Play fairly for soon. City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much, Jamie, for coming on. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, where, uh, where, where can people find you, Jamie? You you do some other stuff. Yes. Uh, I have a bunch of podcasts that you can listen to. Um, they're mostly, uh, long form investigative shows uh the most recent one is called ghost church and it's about the spiritualist church in uh florida if you want to learn about a bunch of old people i hung out with last year that's where you can do that and then i wrote a book about hot dogs that just came out called raw dog so everyone should definitely get that um because i'm afraid people won't so everyone should (laughs) it's worth pointing out that jamie's podcasts are hilarious as well as informative um and i kept thinking about if you like the occultist character <laughs> ghost church will, will be up your alley it's full of that character but it's real old yeah. people misdirecting their energy right and left yeah well well sick i want to check that out um <laughs> b do you have anything to plug no not right now yeah cool beautiful well thank you all so much for coming and playing and I want to give a special shout out to some of our Patreon supporters. And I cry a little bit every time this list just keeps getting longer and longer. And I, I, I love it. Thank you so much. Princess Miranda, Ben Ben, Anonymous, Thunder, Hans, Oxalis, Janice and Odell, Paige, Allie, Paparuna, Milica, Moisey, Boise Mutual Aid, Theo, Hunter, Sean, SJ, Paige, Mickey, Nicole, David, Dana, Chelsea, Kat J, Starro, Jennifer, Eleanor, Kirk, Sam, Chris, Micaiah, and the infamous Haas the Dog. Haas the Thank dog. you so much. And we will see you when the Kickstarter launches. Woo! Yes! Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs>